Oh, hello. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> 400 years. 14 millennia. 4,000 years we were trapped on the other side of the Stargate. <laughs> the black hole directed us to the wrong port, to the wrong galaxy. Trapped. Trapped for a million years. <laughs> Welcome back to the beach. I was born bold. Hey, guys. <laughs> We've got Automobilista 2 here. Who's, who's joined us? Okay. Welcome back. Greetings. Hello. I've got my tea. Ah, uh, thank you, guys. Appreciate all the uh, kind words. I don't know. I hope I, I hope I had the corona because <laughs> I don't want to go through that again. <laughs> uh, we've done it. We've done that. Let's not do that again. This is CGI. He's the cure. Hello, Scott. Hello, Robert. I did run out of tea. I'm actually drinking uh, PG uh, PG tips because that was the only tea I could get a hold of. I, I, someone had to deliver it to me. <laughs> We're still at the beach. Ah, deep fake. Ah, oh, man. Wow. Let's hopefully get some races in. I've, I've not actually run an online game, so I don't know. Uh, I don't know how this works. We, it should be all set up from last time I played this. You need some streams. I've been dying to stream. I three times uh, last month I got in my sim rig. I was like, oh, I'll, I'll stream. I'll stream. It'll be good. I, I was like, I'll get. I get in my sim rig. And then I was like, I set it up, and then I just be like, I was like, ah, ah, I can't stream. <laughs> I was literally like, three times that happened. I get in the sim rig, I sit down, I'd be like, right, and I was like, oh, I might as well. I do a lap, I do a lap, and then I do like half a lap. I'd be like, I can't feel my hands. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ! Right, let's try and set up a server. But yeah, thanks uh, everyone that's been uh, sending sending kind words. Uh, all the people praying, you know, all that stuff. <laughs> I still have to. St I still have to be a bit calm. I still have to remember to breathe. Click the like button. I know. I, I am Lee. Thanks. Hello, guys. We've got to create a uh, create new. You guys know how this works, right? Um, uh, host settings. Lobby name. Let's do it in capitals. Call it Gamer Muscle. Hey, thanks, uh, guys. We need to do something chilled out. Uh, hey, Adam. Hey, Johnny Cage. Let's put a password on it. You know what it is. T in capital letters. Hey, Dave. <laughs> Hair transplant. No, I, I actually, I've just been, I'm, I'm still cold. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Actually, I have not shaved my head for a while. And we, are, you know. Oh look, it's VRC hat. <laughs> he didn't get. He's getting free promotion now. Check out VRC. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. What, I, I'm still cold. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> don't know what's. I don't know what's happened there. Um. Right, that's that. Uh, coin team will pass. <laughs> oh, man. 
Uh, pri privacy, public, that's all good, isn't it? In it, in it, bruv. Right. We'll start with something chill. These are fun. They've got these with uh, rear wings on them. I've not actually tried all the cars in this. I my it's twenty. I don't know, it's nineteen point five degrees uh, on the floor in here. <laughs> so it'll be like twenty three degrees at head height. I don't know what's happened. Mm -hmm. Hello, fun. So weirdly, since uh, not being too well, the weird thing that happened, my feet are always cold. And I just feel cold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's happened there. It's weird. Yeah, here you go. Look, they've got downforce in this one. Ah, oh, what's it? Let's start with a. Is this front wheel drive? Yeah, I've, I've been feeling better every day though. To be honest, I can't believe how long it's taken to get better. Uh, like, unbelievable. Um, I don't know about you guys, but not, you know when you normally get on well, you normally get better within like a week. <laughs> it doesn't normally take a month. <laughs> I mean, even now, I still feel like weird. That's that. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, we got we got lorries. I've got slippers. I, I yeah, I, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We'll find out in the future. Uh, hey, Stuart. What what will happen is I'll get that antibody test and it will say that I haven't had it. <laughs> it will say, "Oh, sorry, you've actually got a brain tumor." I'll be like, "Ah." Oh. <laughs> Uh, probably not that MKK. I don't know. I, I didn't get tested. I So I don't know for sure. I really hope I did. Because I don't really don't want to go through the same thing <laughs> again. Uh, how sure on a scale of 1 to 10? I don't what well, I hope. Like, I hope I did have it. I, I would hope 10 out of 10. Because I don't want to go through not being able to breathe again. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna hope for ten out of ten. Uh, but I, let's say let's say I'd say six six out of ten, seven out of ten. Mm. Uh, Victor, that's that's like debatable at the moment. There's there's not strong evidence for that. Uh, what should we go for? Let's try this. This looks like a good car to try. Oh, here we go. Front, it, is front wheel, it says up top right. Thanks for subscribing, dude. Uh, Lone Wolf. Yeah. I'm very... F I really appreciate breathing now. Um, <laughs> I used to complain about back pain and uh, headaches and stuff. Now, now if, if you're breathing, it's top notch. <laughs> Happy days. Uh, those of you that are all breathing, take a deep breath and appreciate it. <laughs> Changed my philosophy on life. Um, yeah, well, let's go for this. Let's go for this anyway. It'll be it'll be interesting. So, how do we set this up? Uh, can people actually see the server yet? Make, can, I don't even know if we can change it when we're in. Let's just do like five laps. Did you pay for 2020? I I, I bought the whole thing. The whole caboodle. I, it's going to take... I think it will take like eight months for this to be, become really nice and polished. Um, do a list for tonight. Somebody mentioned politics. How the UK handled the outbreak. I, <laughs> I was just chatting with my dad about... Um, politics <laughs> for like two hours <laughs> oh man my, my parents got back from australia uh the other day they had to buy they had to buy first class plane tickets back from australia because their flights were all cancelled and the choice was they would either have to stay like they were 
literally the day before they flew out, the Australian borders had closed down. Oh, the, the day they flew out. So, so they had to get three flights to Sydney to then get a plane from Sydney, which was the last BA flight from Sydney back to the UK. <laughs> and they just happened to have two seats on it. So, yeah, exciting, exciting, expensive times, but, you know, bet, better to pay money than to die. So, <laughs> you know, hang on. What have I just done now? Oh, I've right clicked. Don't right click. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hang on, hang on. Why is <laughs> new UI here, guys? You've been with us for a minute. Right, race. That's the race. Why is there no quali? Oh, okay. Let's give this like 15 minutes. This, well, you know, we're learning how to do this here. Okay, that's good. I'm waiting for a flight to get cancelled to have it refunded yeah well uh, my parents had two flights cancelled that they, they the original flight they had was cancelled the flight they booked afterwards was cancelled and so it was like well they had no choice escape from, i know i i would have just stayed in australia if it was me hey mark thanks guys i i really appreciate everyone uh you know being nice oh no <laughs> why is it playing that Thanks, Gasper. Horrific yellow car. I'm good gluten, thanks. It became a muscle memorial race. Thanks for the shit. Hashtag be kind. Yeah, no, what I would say is don't don't be don't worry about YouTubers, guys. YouTubers get like a lot of attention. I, I had like loads of really nice messages from people. You know, people like, oh, I hope you're well. And, uh, you know, uh, which is, I really appreciate that. But like, you have to remember, YouTubers are just dicks that want attention all the time. <laughs> Send messages to people that don't get messages. Y YouTubers get it too easy. You know, YouTubers need the least amount of attention. <laughs> uh, JH, I, I, I wasn't uh, too great. I mean, I was having a break as well. I've watched like 30 episodes of Stargate. It was uh, good. It, it, I, I enjoy Simrate. It's not really a break from Simrate. I really, I enjoy. I mean, we've had, so. Okay, I need to start the session. I'll stop talking. I need to start the session. Um, uh, then we'll I'll continue conversation. So that's the race. 10, we don't want 10 laps. We want like, no, we don't want 100 laps. Got a quick five lap race with this car. We'll just see if this works. We'll see what happens. Let's go. So that started this set right. So it's game of muscles the server. Password is T. Um so what was I saying? My brain is bollocks. I don't know what <laughs> I mean it was pretty bollocks before, but I, oh my god. I, f I feel like I've I, f I don't know what's going on there. Um Ah, oh, nice, everyone's in. Um what was I saying? I've totally forgotten already. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yeah. Sim no, I, I really like it. Uh, I enjoy sim racing. And and we've had... Um, so, literally, the new version of X-Pain 11 uh, Drivers has come out. The Isle of Man TT game, which we did a stream of it. And I, I was I thought I was better when I did that. I was That was not good after that. Um... So that's yeah, and then and then all these like esports races. <laughs> I was invited to a few of them, and I was like, I was like, yes, I'm gonna take part in it. And then I like, I'm like, oh, I can't do it. <laughs> so yeah, no, I, I I enjoy sim racing. So it's not really like a job where you need a break from it. You know, it's, it's fun. So, oh, what track are we on? That's a good point. Should we do Brands Hatch? <laughs> ah. There we go. We've got to start on the classic. Hang on. Why does it say Dubai Autodrome? <laughs> it is early access. We're, we're doing a race at Brands Hatch Dubai Autodrome. 
T in capital letters. But yeah, what, as I said before, guys, it's really good to like, you know, check up on people that you know wouldn't get messages. Don't worry about YouTubers. Literally, you know. Hello, Sal. That's one of the good things in the UK with the um, the support stuff. It's mostly like phoning old, like talking to old people and stuff. It's good to talk to old people anyway. Normally, you know, there's you know a lot of people just don't have any contact with stuff. I I feel like we're really lucky. Um, my generation, like this sort of internet generation, because we're always going to be able to like chat to people um, on the internet. At worst case scenario, you know, whereas. And older people now can, but I, I would definitely say like my grandparents' generation, so people that were like, well, probably dead now, but like uh, people that would be like 100 now, they were in that point where if they were like, so if they're on their own, but they hadn't learned how to use a computer, they would literally have no one to talk to. Do you know what I mean? So I think it's really, that's one of the really good things with the internet that never really gets talked about is that, you know, you, you could be like 80 on your own, but you could still, you know, you could still get in a game or like voice chat or chat VR chat. Just just that little social interaction. Has, it's a really, that has a huge impact. Okay, Boomer. Saudi's bought every track. Uh, right. Oh my God. This car's been modded. Can you guys see the... Uh... Oh, yeah, I'm still filling with the uh, field of view here. Oh, God. <laughs> what is this? Oh, okay. Jesus Christ, this, this car's a bit floppy. Oh, that's good. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Right, no, I'm getting some frame rate issues here. I might need to change some settings. Oh, I know what might be happening. I, I might need to uh, refresh my monitor. Hang on. The um, My screen might be running at the wrong frame rate. I think my screen's running at 60 FPS. Let's have a look. Yeah, I, th I think my screen's running. Uh... Well, let's get back in the garage here. You will quit this session. No, I want to go to the... There we go. Let's not make those mistakes. Uh, oh, shit. Oh. Can you not change graphics settings in here? Uh, hello, JK. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm back. We're good. So, uh, you don't see it if the server's full, but we'll, we'll be doing lots of, hopefully lots of races. Uh, oh, okay, we can't change the graphics. Well, we'll do this. Actually, do you guys mind if I reset the server here? Because it's, it's just going to give me a headache. I'm going to have to reset the server. <laughs> Sorry, sorry guys. I, I I know I'll get a headache if I run at this 60 FPS thing. It's not. It's really weird with this with this monitor. If you run it at the wrong res, uh, the wrong frame rate, um, it's um, it's not like 60 FPS. You know, if you're playing 60 FPS on a normal screen, that's a 60 FPS screen. It it, it feels like 60 FPS, but it um. It's smooth. Whereas I've noticed with some of these gaming monitors, if you run them at 60 FPS, but they're like a 144 hertz monitor, um, it, it's not it's not smooth in the same way. It like feels the timing just feels wrong. Okay, what well, Windows? Come on, Windows. Advanced display settings. This might be a bit of a pain in the bum. Uh. 
we've had this issue before. Okay, it's saying it's running at 100 hertz, so maybe it was the game. I mean, I can't tell the mouse. I think the mouse is running at 100. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, if you 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 kind of want to run your monitor um, at, at, at the right interval. Uh, seaweed. I I uh, use Avamedia capture card, so it has to be 100 hertz. This monitor can run at uh, different frame rates, but the Avamedia runs at that, so that sends it out to the monitor. It's just it's just how it works with this the way I've got things set up for recording. So try and make sure the game's getting the right frame rate technical stream no we're, we're getting things working hey dan uh, i hope you're all right man Are you, hopefully you're not in the too badly affected parts of italy i mean i guess whole country's kind of like everywhere but oh we're warming up I'm, I'm all right, thanks, yeah. Uh, 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 the, 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 the only thing wrong with me now is um, I, I'm like dizzy. I'm really dizzy and um, cold. <laughs> that's it. Oh, no, my brain, I'm mentally slow. I don't, I, I don't know if that's just dyslexia, but I feel like I've got brain damage. But that's probably just from, uh, that's just from sim racing. Right. Uh options there we go so bear with me if i'm extra slow here guys stand in a fire but really nicely everything's getting everything's been getting better old age every day feel like a tiny tiny bit better although any of you in chat uh had the uh, virus and got better from it so one thing i noticed um yeah, I'm creating a new lobby. One thing I noticed was, assuming I had it, I don't know, I wasn't tested, so I don't know for sure, was that I would feel better one day. Like, I'd be like, oh, I actually feel okay today. Well, you know, not perfect, but I'd be like, oh, I feel a lot better. And then the next day, I'd be totally screwed again. And then the day after, I'd be like, oh, actually, I feel slightly better than the, the other day before that, that I was better. And then the next day, I'd be like, oh, <laughs> please kill me. Re it's really weird. I, normally, if you've ever been ill, like when I've ever been ill from anything, it'll be like, uh, you're fine, you get on well. And uh, gee, where is this option? You've, you've, oh, it says 100 hertz. You're fine, you get on well, then you have a day where you feel goddamn awful, and then it gradually gets better. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So that, that's it. And, then, and so I, I had like, must have been like, was it like 13th or something? Like I started, do you remember I was doing a Half-Life stream? That's when I started feeling unwell, like a cold. And then then I was okay-ish. Then I had like mental breathing issues. <laughs> and I was like, I am going to die. I was having panic attack. I was like, I am going to die. <laughs> And then, and then it was like better. Then I was like, oh, I'm gonna die again. Then it was better. Then like mental, like stomach issues. Oh, I don't know, but yeah. Hopefully, hopefully all you guys in chat are fine. I'm just, I'm just. Uh, I, I don't think I had it bad at all. I, I feel really bad for people that actually have it bad. Oh man, Philip. Yeah, people need to be really like. Uh, nice to people that are having it bad. <laughs> Seems like the worst thing ever. I, I was on and off. Didn't have a fever. But extreme tiredness. Shortness of yeah. Did you get tested? Man, I really hope I had it. I really don't want to. I really don't want to go through it again. <laughs> I'm like so. I hope I had it, and I hope I have the antibodies, and I'll be like the happiest I've ever been. Normal flu, yeah, that would be that would be it, and they'll be like, shit. <laughs> I've I've had flus that were, in terms of feeling sick though, that were worse. No, I don't know. It's probably just a cold. <laughs> it's probably just doing eye racing for a day. 
so it should have worked. I'm going to test in single player with this. See what's going on. I'm, I'm good. Thanks, Raf. Are you in the UK, Philip? I, I really hope. I really hope the result of this is that. Um, I, I really hope this whole thing makes people realize the importance of healthcare services. Are you in South South Wales? Right in the UK. Oh, in the UK, because there's New South Wales in. Yeah, there's something up with the frame. <laughs> Why is this happening? There's something up with the frame time. There's like a really consistent stutter. This is really strange. Oh, maybe it is V-Sync. Maybe you're right. Did I have V-Sync on by accident? Swansea. Oh, well, thanks for clicking the like button, guys. Yeah. Ah, uh, it, was it like a very consistent stutter? I was playing this yesterday and it didn't happen. Maybe they didn't update. They need to just call this graphics. D developers need to stop renaming you art. <laughs> Keep it the same. No V-Sync's off. 99 hertz. I mean, technically my monitor's 100 hertz. This is very weird. I I'll do what you're saying, James. Let me let me give that a go. <clears throat> my brain is melting. <laughs> I didn't have much of a brain in the first place. Favourite racing sim? It depends. I... I all round racing sim, the best one is easily Assetto Corsa in terms of like mods, value for money, sim racing system, force feedback. You know, I, I wouldn't necessarily rate Assetto Corsa for uh, longer racing and stuff because there's some funky things that happen with the tyres and how they heat up and things, and it depends on the car. But for basic drive, like for dri all round AC by a mile, for general online racing, uh, I race him with specific cars like the Skippy and s certain other cars. Uh, where, where was this option, James? Uh, Nvidia control panel. That, what did, was it? Is it to do with uh, render frames ahead? Causes this kind of stutter in the past. Um, FPS cap. Oh, okay, the Steam. No, you don't want to cap. You don't want to cap the. You don't want to do that. I don't think. I, I'm. What um. Do what James says. I'm not sure which setting, so I'm just waiting for him to type it in chat. I'm in the Nvidia control panel. Uh, unknown man. I mean, yeah, it 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 depends. It totally depends on no man. Like if you if you really enjoy the skip barber and the, the stuff in I racing, you'll get the value from it. I mean, I, I think it's a bit anti-consumer. I don't agree with them doing how they the, you know subscription and content. But um, manage three D sense. But but you know, I know loads of people that hate I racing and feel ripped off by it, and I know loads of people that easily get the value from it. I mean, when we do a skip barber binge, I'm trying to look for this manage three D settings here. I'm in the NVIDIA control panel. Uh, where, where, oh, manage, I see. Okay, I've got it. Uh, yeah, when we've done like a Skip Barber binge, damper, we've easily got the uh, value out of our, from my personal level, he's, you know, you just do race after race, the voice chat and stuff, you know. Oh, you cap so you cap the frame rate in the game as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's hard to say. Beast in race, you could probably argue that maybe they could have made more money or could have been even more popular. I don't know. It you know which which setting was it? You have to tell me again. <laughs> Uh, where, where is it in the managed 3D settings, James? 
Sorry, I, I'm, I am actually very mentally slow at the moment. <laughs> you have to bear with me, guys. Welcome to Pensioner Racing. Max frame rate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You thought it was bad before. <laughs> you thought it was bad before. <laughs> ah, my brain is screwed. Oh, dear. So funny. Right. On. And what's, what frame rate did you put it on? Bloody hell. Teaching your nan to do it. Oh man, I sat down with my grandma a few times and my dad uh, lots of times. She didn't even get it. Yeah, we know that FPS cap, Gregor, that's separate. But what did you set it to in your NVIDIA control panel? I've got it here on the screen. I, I, I don't want to accidentally dox myself. That's why I'm turning this off. But, you know, I don't want to show my uh, collection of sh <laughs> my sh sh adult sheep collection, you know. So I put it on 100 and something. And let's just put it on like 110. Why not? Normally, render frames ahead. The rebirth, I oh know, this is... Uh, normally, render frame ahead turn off. Pre-rendered frames, they call it now. That's all right. So I'll just do that game... Someone type out, what is it, dash, something or other. Let's have a look. <laughs> I mean, really, the pinnacle of streaming is a menu stream. Let's be real here. People come to this channel for the menu streams. Oh, you can do it in the game settings as well, yeah. Someone type the command for the uh, the alt command in chat so I can just copy and paste it. This is what we were waiting for. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't very well in that video. <laughs> I mean, I still feel exactly the same way, but I've, I've, you know, I've come to terms with things. It's fine. I might wave my head a few times. Man, that was that was that was serious me. Don't, I don't normally present serious me on the internet. <laughs> uh, what guys? Someone just type it in chat. FPS cap. There we go. That's it. Oh, it's just FPS cap one hundred. I only know I only know these commands for Counter Strike Go, not for not for all the driving sims. What's the other one we use? There's there's another one for another game like. Oh, I don't know. This is probably going to cause my screen to flash on and off. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Gluten. Thanks, Izzy, for that donation, man. I uh, appreciate it. You guys might want to save your money because the economy's collapsing. So <laughs> just before you donate, be aware you probably want to hold on to your money. Take it out of your bank accounts as well because if there's deflation, you'll, you'll probably want it under your pillow. We're going back 19, 18, uh, 1930s style here. Thank you for the chuff. Yeah, I, I'm trying not to dox myself. That's why I, I don't have stuff on the screen. So sorry about that, guys. I think you should, Michael, to be honest. <laughs> I wouldn't hold it against anyone. It's, I don't know. It's the Streamlabs is broken. It's the spooky yellow car. Yeah, the server's not up at the moment. I'm trying to fix frame rate stuff. You can't attend since you have to step into. Well, you do, is it? I know like ten or fifteen people know where I live. Random call sign knows where I live. I try and keep it a little bit private. I'd rather not get murdered. It'll be all the. It'll be all like the ultra right wing people. They'll they'll come after me. <laughs> How dare you suggest that we redistribute wealth? We're going to kill you. No, no money in the bank. All in your sim rig. Yeah. Well, sim the sim industry's uh, like grown. <laughs> T turns out the world in despair is good for sim racing. Strange. I didn't. Oh Jesus Christ! I'm brain dead. I did not apply this setting to uh, the game launch options. There. Try again. Uh, 
Right. Shop girl. No, they don't actually. No, no, no shop girls know where I live. Uh. <laughs> oh, the shop girls are all dead now anyway. So. <laughs> oh, God. It's not even fair. It's just depressing. I'm, I, 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 I race in liveries. I'm good, thanks. Uh, local files. Uh, where is it? Updates, general, set launch options. Here we go. Did you just set it to 100 then? And that, that worked for you. Let's go for that. I didn't realise it. <laughs> Courses. Yeah. I, I, I don't know. I just... Throttle, throttle, oh, throttle. he's on the horse. Hi, GM. Good to see you are well. I need some advice, please. Oh, I received horse. a Section 21 today for eviction from private renting. I knew it was coming, but thought they would hold off due to COVID. Got until the 9th of May 2020. WT do. Well, you, uh, oh, so you, yeah, I've had a section. Uh, you on about, you on about the eviction notice. So, um, I mean, first of all, I'm not a lawyer. Don't take any of my advice as legal advice. It's probably wrong. I'm not a doctor or a lawyer. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Uh, what I would say is I, I had one before. Um, but even if you get given one, the point is, is if you, if you don't have another place to move to, they can't actually move you out of your house if you don't have another place you can reasonably move to. So there's that, and, and so if you, you reply to that saying, I don't have anywhere to move to, that delays things by like a month, two months. Um, so that, that uh, a section, tw was it, did you say section 20, is it called section 21? I can't remember the, the exact name. But you, you have like a month or maybe, I think it's even two months from that uh, initially. Then if you if you dispute it, I think you have even more time. And then the reality um is uh good job good job them trying to evict you right now you know it's it's not going to work <laughs> so the main thing i i would say is try not to get stressed about it yourself if you can um it's all up in the air really yeah oh that's it you need at least 2 months notice before they can then give you that section 21 that exactly there you go people in chat know better than me i mean the, the, when i got given it um where was my partner at the time we um we were we managed to find another place anyway regardless but it was still expensive like it was still like totally we were just kicked out of the place for no reason it is a good it, the new project cars 2 menu is quite nice 100 likes per hour Let's get the graphic on here. Uh, thank you, guys. <laughs> to almost 200 likes per hour. Yeah, I, I think the big thing is, is with stuff like the Section 21, it's just the stress of it. You're like, oh, now you have to, now you have to think about it. And it's not you don't really want to be thinking about stuff like that on top of everything else. It's the bollocks rental market in the UK, really, isn't it? Uh, Greg got yeah. I might do. Right, let's let's try single player, see if this stutters still. Can work out what's going on here. Uh, the early access isn't free, no. I do have some keys to give away. I'm not going to give them away in this stream, but I'll, I'll probably find a way to give them away in a in a fair way. Like, I'll use, like, Gleam or something. Do you know what? In a way that gets me more subscribers. <laughs> in a way that's entirely self-beneficial and to the detriment of everyone else. Oh. Okay. Well, that's... Yeah, that's not stuttering anymore. Okay. There we go. How weird is that? I mean, technically, it's running slower now. <laughs> but it's not stuttering. Well, there you go. Okay, now we can do the race. Thanks for those pro tips, guys. Right, let's uh, leave that. Uh, end session.
Uh, I'm not in a bread box charity race now. Uh, Scrubbles, you're feeling better? Yeah, I, I, I'm. I'm good, thanks. Uh, multiplayer. Let's make a server here. Yeah, guys. Uh, feel free to complain in chat about how crap everything is. Uh, we can use this as a cathartic. <laughs> we can we can use this as like a therapy session for everyone. Jimmy, yeah, I don't, I, I, yeah, he probably hates me a little bit. I, did, has Jimmy shaved his head yet? I mean, ev I, I, right, we'll talk about the whole head shaving thing. This, I, I find this very offensive. I have to say, all these people shaving their heads as if it's like a a bad thing. That that's the really offensive. All these Formula One drivers. They're, they're like, they're like, oh, I'm shaving my head for charity. What are they trying to say? Are they saying, are they saying that, uh, that, it's, that it's bad to be bold? And he didn't even fully shave his head. Not even full commitment. I, I am, aff I'm really deeply offended. Uh, <laughs> I, I think it's an attack on bold men. It's, it's a, it's a subversive attack. With the implication that being bold is bad. Very, very offended. <laughs> right, let's create... People are going to take what I'm saying, literally. Welcome to the internet. Gamer muscle. All this bold men. We should, all, we should do a class action lawsuit against all these people shaving heads for charity. I think it's only fair. I think what it really is is they know being bold is like the the ultimate the ultimate state of hair. But in the olden days, people would go bold all the time, mostly because of an abundance of head lice and discomfort from head lice biting your forehead constantly. But you know, it used to be cool. Let's let's uh, let's all remember that. Let's start this off. There you go. Exactly. It means you've got adequate testosterone and inadequate hair follicles. Ladies like it bold. Uh, I got trapped on another planet. I've been watching Stargate. That's That was the best way to get through feeling unwell. Just watch Stargate. I mean... Uh, I've not, and I've never watched so much of one thing. Like, I, I mean, in the past years back, I watched a lot, lot of uh, Next Generation uh, <laughs> when I had nothing to do. But uh, man, how Stargate's amazing, guys! Oh, Anton Jacket potatoes in <laughs> his potato face. Chris Bow, right. We got a graphic for that. Hang on, hang on. Oh, this might break everything because I've not done this for a long time. Chris Bow. Oh, I did I only put sixteen slots. Right. <coughs> Follow Chris Bow on Instagram, guys. Currently, he's not doing that much photography of models for some reason, but I'm sure he'll be back in action eventually. Uh, I'm gonna. I need to make a bigger lobby. So sorry. So let's try that again. <laughs> Oh dear, we're not very good at this. Where uh, where do you set the lobby size? Oh, oh, I see. It's exactly the same as podcast too, obviously. Well, let's put it on twenty six, and uh, yeah. It's good that you can fill with the AI opponent. Like, obviously, it's the same as Project Cars too. Okay, so that's all the same. There you go. Hello, Ollie. Needs more slots. I've got all the slots there. Antoine's in like a legend. Whoa! It is the madness engine, yeah. Some say it will drive you to madness. 
I mean, the, 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 as I said, as I said before, I think the key thing with this is Reza keep developing. So, unlike Project Cars 2, where they, you know, they came out and they did a few patches. I mean, obviously, you get Project Cars 3 probably coming out at the end of this year. That's just their development cycle. But with someone like Reza, it'll be like it'll be like how Kunos approached the updates to AC and ACC. You know, they'll they'll just keep building on it. So you kind of have to see this as a foundation. And stuff will change. And and Reza actually seem quite responsive to uh, the forum. Like, responding to what people ask for on the forum. Now, Reza are, like, a really good uh, indie development team in that sense. Uh, yeah, my, my, well, as I say, my parents got back from Australia the other day. Um, so I guess we find out in f four to fifteen days if they're screwed or not. Uh, so there's that. Hello, Norman. But uh, well, I hope everyone in chat's good. As I say, feel free to vent in chat. If you, if you, uh, I don't know, just anyone, F feel free to. You know, if something's really annoying you, or you know, you just want to talk about something, get it in the chat. We, we welcome all dissenting views here. <laughs> we welcome misery and despair. It's all good. Make a cup of tea and whinge. It's nothing more British. <laughs> isn't, it, isn't it strange that it takes a global pandemic for sim racing to become widely, ex widely popular? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, imagine, imagine that being like the case for football or something. Prior to World War One, football wasn't popular, but after the Christmas armistice, football became an international sport. Thank you, World War One. <laughs> Sim racing owes its success to to the death of many hundreds of thousands of people. Bloody hell, this car's a little bit floppy. Hello, tall maniac. Oh man, this car, this car's. Uh, uh, let's let's just say it's interesting. It drives like a Robin Reliant with the. Okay. I, I might need to go on a higher field of view here. Hey, X Pop. Well, we're still finding out. I've not done much sim racing recently. Oh dear. It's a four-wheel Robin Reliant. Ah, uh, you know. This is the uh, this is the kind of vehicle that we'll be able to afford <laughs> by the end of this year. We'll all be driving Robin Reliance <laughs> because we won't be able to afford anything else. People will be like, "Whoa, check out my check out my gold check out my gold wheel." <laughs> we'll all be riding unicycles because materials will cost too much. Yo, man, check out the tyre on my unicycle. What? <laughs> Yo, I put LED lights on my unicycle seat. Check it. Hey, yeah, uh, your father. How many of you in chat can ride a unicycle? I can. Let's have a unicycle uh, poll here. T type in chat. Type unicycle in chat if you can ride a unicycle. Throttle, throttle, throttle! Oh. I'm happy to see you back online. Have a nice stream, man. 777. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Santa Gun. <laughs> Thanks for subscribing, Shimmy Stone. Hey, Jay. Uh, Grant Mill, yeah. I, I found with the DD Will that Project Cars 2, 4, Superbike never really bothered me. It was more just how the cars were set up. A unicycle. Apparently, hardly anyone can ride unicycles. It's ridiculous. What with this being sim races, I'd have imagined there'd be more clowns here. Oh. <laughs> oh, a DJ can ride one. Nice. What a ledge. 
Hey, Full House. I hope you're good, man. Hey, Damon Allen. This is really weird that people are watching that are normally on at different times of day because normally people are at work and stuff. Whoa! Uh, any of you that have learnt to ride a unicycle probably have, like, scarring on your groinal region. It takes real testicular dedication to learn how to ride a unicycle. <laughs> Do they sell, like, cod piece protection for people learning how to ride unicycles? That would have been really helpful. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Really good way to learn how to ride a unicycle is on grass as well. Makes it a lot slower. Welcome to unicycle talk here. <laughs> There's people watching that have never watched before. They're like, hang on a minute. Why is he talking about unicycles? Well, welcome to, the, uh, welcome to this channel. This is what happens here. Cricket box... It's underneath. It's not from the front that you get hit with the unicycle. So a hockey box, cricket box, football box. You don't really wear boxes for football. They, they won't do much. You need something that goes in the gooch region. <laughs> 200 likes per hour. Thank you, guys. Hang on. We've got a graphic for that that hasn't changed for over a year. Man, I should have been updating graphics whilst I was on well rather than just watching Stargate. <laughs> well, uh, oh well. <laughs> I I think it's I I think Billy the tropical paradise makes things more calming. Whoa! Oh, that's good. It didn't flip over. So that's that's quite an improvement, actually. Uh, in Project Cars Two, the car would have rolled there. Right, we need to... And why can't I drive? Uh, hello? Wait, why am I... Ah, oh, there we go. Grass was one of the few settings with no ultra option. Ah, oh, gee, right. Don't get the game, guys. Where's the nice women delivering your coconut drinks? Yeah, they're, they're there. Don't worry. Unsafe crossing a pit lane exit. Oh, man, you can feel like the uh, steering rack or something when you... I need to turn my force feedback down. All right. Um, field of view is what I was going to change. Camera. Right, now I'm going to increase it. it. It's weird. They use the Project Cars to... Um, cameras if that makes sense uh the, the options here, it's like well that's not that's not 84 degrees so, like, these numbers don't actually <laughs> relate to anything particular i don't think anyway or maybe maybe they do i mean it depends how games render. I, I, I get the, these these don't line up with other games that's that's what i'm saying so in, in most games you know it'd be like for a driving sim you'd be like between 55 and 65 would be the field of view well obviously that's <laughs> this is like 30 FOV in most sims, so. Eighty-five seems to be like sixty in most sims. I might go with that. Oh, is he is that he's using vertical field of view rather than horizontal? Oh he's, oh, he's yeah. I mean, I'm not particularly picky about field of view, to be honest. As long as it looks okay, I'm happy. Because at the end of the day, it's not VR. And VR is the only way to get one-to-one -one field of view. Best racing sim for console. Um, GT Sport's probably the best all-round console racing game. You know. Well, we don't know about ACC till it comes out. I think ACC will be good, but I, I would still think the vast majority of people would rather have 
they would probably enjoy um, GT Sport if you're a console player. Uh, I, VR headsets is a hard one. I mean, I, I think all round the Valve Index is probably the best one. Oh, oh. was that? Um, he wasn't actually touching us there. Is that like a lag thing? Oh, <laughs> God, I'm trying to join. Oh, okay, I'm ghosted now. We're good. Spooky. Yeah, if if I was, I mean, I've got a PlayStation Four, and uh, I definitely, I've only really spent time playing GT Sport on it. I played AC on it, uh, and Project Cars One, not Project Cars Two. See, but the field of view, like I think I've set the field of view too high now. But it's a weird, a weird thing that happens from field of view when you set field of view lower. It makes the car feel more responsive to steering input, just because of the way that stuff squished together. The higher you set the field of view, the less responsive to steering input the car feels. And it, so, lower field of view will give you the impression of less understeer, whereas higher field of view will make it feel as if the cars are understeering more, just from the visuals. A higher field of view obviously makes it feel like you're going faster. Uh, in, in some way, not in all ways actually, because sometimes if you've got a lower field of view, you can see the track details uh, texture better, so that can give you a good sense of speed, but it's quite interesting how just changing field of view can really change the perceptive feel of driving visually. Just press your face again, well that's manual field of view. Uh, yeah, Rift Rift S. If you've um, if your uh, IPD fits it, it's by far the best VR headset to get for raw value for money and general convenience. I've not played Half Life, Alex, so no talk about that, please. <laughs> not being up to standing up playing VR games yet. I'm, I'm hoping to play that probably next week. Uh, well, not really Tortellini because it's the support for it is potentially dwindling. It has an issue where the cable breaks on it over time, pretty much guaranteed uh, on the on the headphones, and the resolution on it really. I mean, I guess if you can get one super cheap, sure. But then you also have to use the bloody head tracker camera stuff, the extra USB ports. So I I, I would generally try and avoid it. I mean, I've got one. I think it was awesome, but... Hello, Looper. Yeah, I mean, I, I like the Rift. I mean, I, I have a uh, Valve Index, a Pimax, uh, a Quest, and a Rift S. And, you know, I, I prefer the uh, index overall out of all of them for a multitude of reasons. But on a pure value for money convenience, well, the Quest is the best for pure, for pure convenience, but out of the PC headsets for sim racing, the, uh, the Rift S, it's just, uh, it runs well as well. Like the smoothing from the Oculus is good. Should you buy it? Maybe. I mean, I, I, it's hard for me to tell you what's... You know, I, I don't know enough about uh, AMS 2 yet. Uh, the Pimax 5K Plus that I have is interesting. Like, it's, it, it's nice, the field of view. But um, I, I, was, I found it hard to get the performance out of it to really get the most out of it. And it still has distortion on the edges and stuff. I don't know about the new new Pimaxes, but the grass looks nice here. 
It's nice. They've mowed the lawn. It's nice maintained grass here. Uh, I don't know how long the 40% lasts. Well, I, I'm going to do... Um, I've got three keys to give away. So I'm going to do a, a key giveaway at some point. Through... I'm uh, not on this stream, but we'll do it. Probably using Gleam or something. Just so it... It's automated, gives out the key. Man, I'm so bad at driving front-wheel drive cars. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, th th what you kind of have to think with Automobilista 2 is they're probably going to keep developing on it. It's it's one of those, like, it's like a long-term game. So, like, with, with Project Cars 2, for example, or, like, I don't know, F1 2019, those types of games, you, like, basically, it's like, well, what's the game like at launch? Are you happy with that? Yes or no? If you are, buy it. If you're not, well, you're probably never going to like it unless it gets cheaper. With something like Automobilista 2 and Assetto Corsa, um, X-Plane 11, um, I don't know, there's loads, you know, Hell Let Loose, you know, all these indie games. If you know the developer's a trusted developer, you, you know that when you buy it, that it's, it's gonna, there's going to be stuff added to it. It's going to improve. Uh, ACC as well. Like, you know it's going to... So... You, you buy it if you think it appeals to you now, but also do keep in mind that it, it probably will actually change for the better in the long run as well. The uh, uh, Rees are uh, awesome developers, though. Like, you know, they really, they really do care. But at the same time, I, it, that doesn't necessarily mean that development will be quick because <laughs> it's... it's Game development takes time. Yeah, the the index, the thing with the Valve Index is it's the bloody lighthouse units and the hand controllers. The actual headset's really good value for money, but you have to have you have to have hand controllers and you have to have the lighthouses. Right, we we improved our lap time. Oh, we didn't. I felt like we did. It wasn't enough, though. Uh, Sh Shonest, I'm this, I'm, this is my first time playing the uh, Early Access, so... I, I think it's all right. It's just a five-lap race. As, uh, but what are you developing, Mini Ninja? Yeah, game development's uh, a nightmare. <laughs> I've, I've only ever done, like, very simple games development. So, even that was a bloody nightmare. <laughs> ah, that's that's silly. Well, I'm sure they'll, they'll know. I think I read about it, actually. I think the developer's going to change that. Do you know what I love with these new titles? They're the same track. I mean, they feel exactly the same. I, d I don't know what you mean. Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what What does the season pass get you with this game? Um, they're going to they're release uh, new tracks, additional tracks, more cars. Quite a lot of tracks, actually, from what I understand. There's there's a list somewhere. Oh, no, j don't listen to me, James. <laughs> Mix out 38's poning it. Right, I need some fuel here. Stick, well, okay, we're, we're going for this. We're going to need to some, we're going to need to set up some setups. Oh dear, let's call it GM1. Okay. 
Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? It doesn't say... Hang on, it reckons we've only got... Th oh, three litres. Okay. Well, let's just... We'll see what happens. I mean, there's probably stuff that we could have changed. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, it doesn't matter. Go ready up. Shit <laughs> box. This is the best. Look at this camera crew here, guys. What sort of camera is it? That's not even like a broadcast camera. Never use the fat link. <laughs> yeah. Ignore everything I say. <laughs> I appreciate people using the fat link. Uh, especially this month. Loads of people used it. and That's, that's a relief. Well, assuming Fanatec don't go bust and assuming that the factory's still making steering wheels and that they can be shipped around the world. <laughs> uh, you know, it's a relief that... I don't know. You, you know, no, nobody knows what's happening with money uh, at the moment with anything, so... Ah, thank you for subscribing, uh, Crazy Gaming Glenn. Hello, Vols Trumpets to Presidente. We're, ju we're just finding out, man. Oh, here we go. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's in gear. Go, go, go. There we go. Hold your fine tech gear. In the future, it's going to be... A oh, shit. Oh, Christ. Oh, bugger. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Ah, oh, well. Textbook. Textbook way of starting a race there. Yeah, we, we're going to move to a barter economy. <laughs> Welcome to the Game of Muscle Races. Uh, yeah, barter economy where we just use Fanatec wheels. You, you seem to be able to flip them over from... Oh, that, see, that was... That was like netcode. So, yeah, may maybe this has the same Project Cars 2 netcode issues. Hang on, where's he come from? It's a very expensive currency. If, if there's a big ping difference. I'm not sure if it's just the host that has that thing. Uh, yeah, we should be able to do a kart race. That'd be good fun. We're to toilet rolls and steering wheels is the new economy. I'd see, did that... Yeah, it seems to think that I'm hitting people when I'm not. It's like the prediction seems to be, be a bit off there. Eh? Hopefully the people in this race can say if I hit them or not. That's very weird, isn't it? I didn't hit that guy. <laughs> Unless his car extends an extra 40 meters in front, invisibly. Oh, hi, Mark. I didn't hit her. I did not. Man, I need another drink. I've got a proper dry, dry throat in here. Total size 25. Jedi mind winkle. <sighs> Man, it feels so good to be back in this sim rig. Sim racino. I don't know about you guys, if you do a lot of sim racing, like I find even if, if I'm like doing on holiday, like, I don't know, you know, go out and about, and I'm just away from sim racing for a while, it's like, you want to get back in a sim rig. So sim racing is a way of life, guys. Hello, midlife crisis. Uh, 
Thanks, Mini Ninja. <laughs> All these people with Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> we like the complaining. Our life is so much better. <laughs> we need a sense of despair, otherwise it doesn't feel right. I'm so used to the mental torture. I can't cope without it. Look at the wing mirrors coming out of the car. It's like a guy with his arms out with two like... <laughs> okay, probably not a good time for a wing mirror impersonation there. <laughs> Look how the wing mirrors stick out. Well, we've designed this car on the uh, design principles of an, of an of an elephant. Oh, it's like a scenographer. What are those people that do the things to wave a plane in? I've got my wing mirror. <laughs> it's so straight. Look how straight the wing mirrors are. <laughs> it literally looks like a man holding two mirrors. Oh dear. I don't know. That's, that's the kind of thing that I find funny. This is my server, yeah. Just hosting off my computer. Maybe I need to turn the number of uh, users down. I mean, it's, we're doing 130. Maybe the uh, mirrors are for uh, extra downforce. Keeps the front, the load on the front wheels down. Now, I, I find the force feedback to be not that different from Project Cars 2 when set up correctly, to be honest. The, the difference is more that, you know, it's, it's like Project Cars 2, only the cars don't roll and flip over as easily. The handling between having grip and not having grip is less abrupt and more predictable um yeah, yeah i mean it's like like what we were saying before it's, it's in many ways it is very similar to project cars 2 as but but with cars that are actually uh not over the top if that makes sense i mean what, what's going to always happen is if you're using a a a tire model if you're using the same tire model across the different games but it's the same tire model you will have the aspects of the field will be the same it's, it's the same tire model but what will be different are the nature of how it responds depending on how you put the values into the entire model so there were cars in project cars too that are, I, I mean i don't know if they were realistic but they're perfectly fine handling cars but th most of the cars in Project Cars 2 were just, like, ridiculous. What, what do you mean, uh, too much over the top, in, t in terms of what way? Too, too snappy, or...? Yeah, I mean... So, I mean, this, this is the thing, it's like... Yeah, <laughs> I, I, for me personally, I, I find if you can control a car over the limit, well, on the limit, you can balance it a bit. It, may, it might not be realistic, but if it's fun, it's fun. In, in what scenario is it too snap? Do you mean like the grip coming and going or the rear end on braking or something? Same guitar can play Steve here. Uh, eh? <laughs> I don't know guitars. You can turn more by adding more steering angle. Yeah, I mean, I, d I don't know. I, this is, I've, so I'm sort of coming from the position that I, I... A lot of people seem to really hate Project Cars too. Whereas I didn't particularly really hate Project Cars 2. Like, I'm not saying that Project Cars 2 was perfect and that it doesn't have annoying stuff in it. I, I, in my mind, with the cars that were good in Project Cars 2, I just felt that, you know, it it felt like Project Cars 2 and maybe they just, you know, it just had its own thing to it. Like, 
in, in the, so in like with i racing there's cars in i racing that to me just don't make any sense at all like i don't get it but there's also cars in i racing that uh i think are fine um you know like in, in each sim you can normally there's normally totally messed up stuff and there's stuff that's quite good I mean, uh, I, the only sim that seems to buck that trend is like a Seto Corsa, where everything's, even like bad mods in the Seto Corsa seem relatively consistent. I mean, there are definitely mods that are worse than others, but. Maybe is the, game, the game might be a bit <gasps> quiet. I mean, for, for me, my big appeal for Automobiles 2, and the Madness Engine, uh, Project Cars 2, a large part of what I really enjoy about it is just the, the ability to set up your own sessions, you know. And then it, it being good enough in the sense that you drive like you drive, you know, you approach it like a simulator. Why are we all stopping? <laughs> okay, we're not doing a victory lap. Uh, what's my my force feedback's probably set up wrong. Um, I was messing around in game actually. We'll we'll have a look at it now. I turn my game up. Hang on. Oh yeah, the, the game's really quiet. Just turn my uh, headphones down. Where's my volume? I've got to turn my monitor volume down. My headphones go through the monitor. Um. Sound. There we go. Ah, uh, hello, Jorg. I'm all right, thanks. Right. Hopefully, these volume levels work out good okay well done Hampus Solberg for winning that San Sandis for coming second oh it's, it's from my headphones uh, Zan Zanmir third that and KK fourth and we came fifth right let's try something else here what's going on here like a weird noise coming from uh from my uh, computer. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the VR, I think, runs... Madness Engine seems to do really well with VR. Um, it's five... Well, I, I would hold on to it and expect it to get better over time, you know. Ben! Is that Ben Hebelson? <laughs> Hope he's doing all right. <laughs> he's a legend. We've been racing with Ben Hebelson for, like, four-plus years. <laughs> Uh, got hair exactly. Kero, what would you all recommend for new sim racer? I play Forza Seven and Project Cars Two on the Xbox. Um, I would recommend not getting into sim racing; it would only ruin your life. <laughs> Password is T in capital letters, but it might be four. Uh, obviously, Fanatec equipment using the Fanatec affiliate link is the most obvious choice. It depends how much money you want to spend. If you want to just save money, you don't want to spend money, T300 is a fantastic piece of equipment. Um, just uh, Yeah, just a T300 is great. Thrustmaster T300, and that works on the PlayStation as well as PC. Um, if you want to get the cheapest wheel that's good, like the G29, um, if you've got more money to spend, a Fanatec CSL Elite, um, like the F1 Esports bundle, is really good. Don't use Dave Cam's Fanatec link. <laughs> don't ah, don't use Dave Cam's. Use mine. It's much better. My Fanatec affiliate link um, comes with a Ukrainian supermodel, so it's much better to use. Dave Cam's uh, aff affiliate link comes with um, uh, I don't know. Comes with something. <laughs> I mean, you could use Dave Cam's. He does seem like an alright guy, you know. <laughs> 
But yeah, so CSL Elite F1 Esports Bundle is a really nice bit, a, a good sort of lump of kit. T300 or Logitech G29. As for sim rigs, um, I still think the Simitek K2 cockpit is the uh, cheapest good cockpit that I'm aware of. Change track, okay. I've got to remember to breathe. I get lightheaded here. <laughs> Let's do Dono. Jesus Christ. Ah. Oh. Oh, come on. we got to do the Caterham. Sorry. <laughs> Anyone that used to do our Project Cars 2 stream is now having a, a fit. Hey, Beastu. Well, we'll do, we've got to do a Caterham. Is it Super Sport? It's the fastest one. Should we do the fastest one? Yeah, let's go for the fastest one. Uh, Fanalabs works with, uh, yeah, I think it works with Project Cars too. I think it does. It works with everything else, I think. The only problem I've had with Fanalabs is uh, it seems AC seems to cause it to crash at the moment occasionally. I don't know if that's content manager thing. Is that the slow one? What does it say here? 125 horsepower. 175. Super light. 125, 100, I super light. You got the super sport, the super light. This is the fastest one. Oh, 310 horsepower. Okay, go for that one then. What was I going to change? I was going to change something else. Crew chief works with Project Guys one. Yeah, it'll work with yeah. If it works with Project Cars two, it'll work with Automobilista two generally. But you know, you were hyping this big time. However, you don't seem to be fulfilled, or is it just a COVID man? I, I'm happy with this uh, as it is. I, nothing's really changed. It's like <laughs> it's Project Cars two with better handling. Force feedback. Yes. Oh, can I do that in this menu? I can do that from inside the uh, game when we've launched. So that's that. We'll start that off. Yeah, we'll just start. We'll just do that. There's like annoying white noise on my headphones. I might. Do you know what? I might have to run the monitor at a higher volume level. What is going on here? <laughs> ah. There we go. It's picking up noise from the uh, DD motor. <laughs> I can hear this like white noise on my headphones because the, the headphone cable goes along the uh, power cable of the DD wheel. I just moved it and it got rid of it. Uh, thanks, John. <laughs> exactly, Greg. We, we'll do that. We're warming up, man. Force feedback. I'm actually going to turn that off. Uh, that's what I was using before. And then on my wheel, um, I've just got the force feedback on 29. Lin linearity is on uh, off. Natural dampness off. I just run minus three. Uh, interpolations on. Th oh, sorry, interpolations on three. Uh, FEI is on eighty. That's it really. Just like the bog standard uh, settings. A oh, hundred on the actual other setting, the power setting. Why? Okay. Why are we sat so? Why are we sat so low? Does it remember the field of view for each car? Yeah, I don't know what my wheel sensitivity is set to. Whoa! Okay. It's a little bit 
a little bit more nippy than the previous vehicle. I'm going to have to move this high. So we, why is this dash like solid? Is there a way to have a transparent dash? Whoa. Okay, he's lagging out. <laughs> oh, no. He's got st stuck in a temporal... Oh, oh there he is. Oh, okay. <laughs> what happened to him? Let's try that again. Oh, not pick. Okay. Uh, brakes him okay. I think the brake bias is a bit too far forwards in a lot of the cars. There we go. <laughs> this is so controllable. Oh man, I need one of these to do Tesco shopping in. Oh man, we got more grip than I was expecting there, man. <laughs> this is... It's, it, <laughs> well, it's an interesting... What, why is this, what have they got in this car? <laughs> what kind of catering is this? It's, it's like it's got a... Uh, It's like it's got a radical engine in it. Even actually, it seems even it feels even more speedy than a radical SR3. <laughs> what is in this? You could use this to get to the moon. <laughs> I, just, I don't even want to drive in a straight line. Woo! Man, this is so easy to drive as well. Okay, got more grip than I'm expecting. Man, this would this would blow your tits off in real life. <laughs> Bearing in mind this is a catering, like um, going in. Look at the speed. Is this a real? Is this real? Hello, Corollis. Imagine if you uh, secretly replaced someone's road catering with this spec when they weren't. <laughs> as an April Fool's joke. <laughs> hey, imagine if you weren't wearing a helmet and you were driving this. Your face is going to fall off. We're doing 200 this is kilometers per hour. <laughs> what? This is mental. This is really good. What? It's, it drives like a shifter cart. Oh, too much welly there. <laughs> yeah, this... This feels faster than the aerial atom, though. I need to move the brake bias back a bit. Let's try and drive it smooth. This is fun. This is absolutely mental. Let's try and drive it properly. I'll have one of these, please. I mean, I do, as you guys know, I do have a weird fetish for caterums. I would have to put the picnic camper in the back of it, though. So, <laughs> you'll be able to hear all the plates smashing. <laughs> We've already destroyed the plates. I, well, maybe I could just put plastic plates in. Sorted. That's that problem resolved. Hello, Rocky Rocky. Well, I don't know. It's debatable. Man, this car's going to... This would be amazing to drive in VR. Well, we didn't hook that up. Sorry. My fault. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Man, this is the this is the car to escape COVID with. Wouldn't be able to catch up with you. Wouldn't even need a face mask on this. Mind you, if you open your mouth, your lungs explode anyway because of the air coming into your mouth at 200 kilometers per hour. 
This is... <laughs> If you were not wearing a helmet with this car, it'd be like sticking your face out the front of a Boeing 747. I appear to have lost my eyeballs into the back of my head. Do the cars have too much grip? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I, I don't really care. <laughs> I, I, I'm not the type of person that's really directly comparing sim cars with real cars because I'm not going to... I'm not using the sim. I mean, you know. Or, or, no, I di ideally, you want the simulated car to be like the real car. You know, that's kind of part the sim racing in it. But I, I, as long as it's ballparked, I'm happy. <laughs> right, we need to change some setup stuff here. I mean, that seems that's a fun car to drive, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know about grip levels. I mean, what I found from... I, I've not driven throttle, a real... Throttle, throttle. Oh, well Before then. I go see Jimmy Beach Lando, I'll be here until... Okay, thank you. 777 oh, Octo Vigentillion, 777 Septon Vigentillion, 777 Cess Vigentillion, 777 Quinqua Vigentillion, 777 Quatuol Vigentillion, 777 <laughs> Tress Vigentillion, 777 uh, Duo Vigentillion, 777 um, Unvigentillion, 777 I, I can keep enjoying it. So, um, anytime I've been around a real track and a real car as a passenger, it's always seemed like insanely grippy. So, I kind of refrain from going, oh, well, Sim seems too, or too, too grippy. But I don't know. Hello, Jules Rules. There you go. You guys don't need to suffer so much. Um, set up. Uh, not that much to change on this. Is quite good. Just tire pressure. Oh. No. That is lot. Do you feel like you are driving it? Yeah, but I mean, I, I, I think you get like that with all Sims. Yeah, the, if, if tyres are really snap, then often it makes them more snappy, which makes it easier to trip over yourself. I don't know if damage is on. Um, well, this is alright. We'll just leave it on this. Just drive that. It's fine. Uh, yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, it's, it, maybe it's more grippy than other Sims. I, I don't know. I've not spent enough time on it with different settings and stuff. Hello, Euclid. Oh, it's a nice sound of of sevens. I, I, it will finish. I, I can't turn it off. I turned it down. I mean, you could just hear the echo in my room. As well as my next door neighbours. Mind you, my next door neighbours' children have been uh, running around. <laughs> so. I mean, I, I, I can't really hold it against them. If your ki ki kids are going to run around, it's just a little bit annoying when you're trying to chill out and you could the floor shaking. <laughs> There we go. Now let's turn that back up. Thanks for that donation. I think everyone really appreciated that. <laughs> nice little bit of a troll there. The uh, engine sound of this car is quite nice. Right, we're in 19. Throttle, throttle, throttle. Oh! Thanks, stay safe. Oh, thank you, man. That's a... Uh, Really generous donation there. The Dirty Yank. 
Is he dirty? He's just sent me $15. It's the opposite of dirty. <laughs> really, really yeah, appreciate, man. Hope you're looking after yourself. It seems that like a lot of states in America have gone full brain dead. Some states uh, seem to be on the ball in the, in the states. Some states are like following the science. Some states <laughs> are not. Some states have are going to have a lot of dead people. Uh, others will have fewer. Oh well. I, I, well at least a, a big positive of this whole thing is that um, people are going to learn the, <laughs> a, 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 a bit painful lesson. People are going to understand the importance of um, following the scientific method. There is such a thing as objective reality. It's a shame it takes so many people dying for it to become... for people to learn, but... I know, guys! Let's have a big church convention full of old people. <laughs> I, I, I know, guys! Let's all go to spring break and intermingle and bring out, bring back a highly contagious virus to our local communities. <laughs> oh, good plan. Whoa! Inverse flip. All right, fair enough. Okay. Well, that's that's one way to overtake. <laughs> Whoop. That happened. Oh, yeah, it's not just the States. The UK's been really stupid. Bunch of European countries being stupid. I'm not having to go to America. It's just to be clear, guys. I'm not, I, it's not just America. People rag on America for being dumb. There's loads of really clever people in America. There's uh, and America's massive. Uh, you know, the different states in America are effectively like different countries in terms of culture and population. So. I love like the uh, way the back comes out of this. Ah, uh, this, this sounds really good on this. It's a little bit clipping, but a nice tone to it. Hello, uh, the top lion. Yeah, I'm a bit. Oh bollocks! Too much. I'm, uh, I'm a bit behind on my clothes washing. <laughs> so get ready for more odd socks. Crap. Do I get one more lap here? Really do not want to be starting this in 20th place. This is multiplayer. Yeah, we're just playing on uh, I'm ho our hosted session. But I'm hosting. does have yeah it's, it's the same as project cars 2 it's the same engine do i have enough time to finish this lap 9 88 seconds uh, 60 yeah hello artur by the way guys thanks everyone please click the like button and welcome all the new people throttle, that throttle, throttle. james lay in bed his head pounding his chest tight and his nose dripping he hadn't been this flustered since he saw Matt Malone in the nip. What? Wow, Sarskov 2, you make me so hot. He whimpered. <laughs> oh yes, I can feel you deep inside me already. Oh, Jesus Christ. Thank you, gamer Sarskov 2 fan. Come on. <laughs> Thank you for that donation. <laughs> it's getting the levels of absurdity. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, come on. Woo -hoo -hoo! I want one of these. No, oh, we got one place. I love one of these cars, guys. Does the is this does this this car exist in real life? Like this version of the K trip? It feels like a bloody flashbang's gone off in my <laughs> Mr. Fix's headphone thing. You know when a flashbang goes off and you get that white noise 
you know, in Counter Strike. That's the noise my headphones are making. <laughs> oh man, I want one of these. I mean, I think I still go towards a radical. I don't know, Shumi. You, you, you probably won't enjoy it. Knowing you, you hate everything. Just stick to Assetto Corsa. You, you enjoy that. Oh, I did, but this is even faster than the Project Cars 2 one. And it's less... Um, it's more of a smooth profile to it. The curve's been flattened, guys. <laughs> With this car. Right, here we go. Oh, yeah, I might need to lower my OBS output settings. That might be why we're getting some netcode stuff, because I'm probably lagging, because we're at the very limit of my internet. So I need to turn down my uh, bitrate for my stream as I'm hosting this. Uh, is it, as it won't be for you, no. It's, it's enjoyable as AC for me, because we can do hosted races with random cars, and commentary and I get to race Chris Bow and it's nice and simple and you know it's a nice change up. For you, you you'll enjoy AC more. For a lot of, it depends for a lot of people they'll enjoy this for different reasons. I'm I know Shumi, so I know that he's, he'd probably just enjoy playing AC. Well although saying that the VR in this is really nice. So it's a five lap race by the way guys. Just so you guys know. UI is a little bit convoluted. It's not. It's not particularly intuitive to use. It's not. It's not. It's not. It's not, it's, it's not terrible. It's not intuitive though. The colours are all over the place as well, which is a bit weird. I'm sure we get used to it though. Uh, hey Lord Podge, Doctor Longmont. This physics feel like a good version of Project Cars 2 physics. Yes. Hello, Callum Shoy. Uh, force feedback tells you what the car's doing. I would... Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Starting from 18th. Go! That's it. I mean, that's it. I've not played this enough to do, like, a proper review. So, I'm, you know... Oh, no, no, no! Oh, <laughs> oh Christ. Okay. <laughs> He's upside down. Whoops. Oh, I got through it. It's fine. There's Gasper. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we need to turn our bitrate down. There's definitely some prediction issues. <laughs> There's definitely prediction issues going on here. Oh, no. I don't do that. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, Christ. This new version of Wreckfest is interesting. Fortunately, damage is off. So, you know, it's really nice that we can have nice, clean community races. <laughs> oh! That's a good example of a huge difference between this and Project Cars 2, is you can drive on the kerbing and the grass without the car going flying. Deary me. To me, to you. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, hello, Craig. It's, it's better than R3E in VR. It, it's going to take... Look. It's going to take six to eight months for this to be fully polished. It's like, it's on sale. It's like, what, 25 quid? You know. If you if you are, like, heavily embedded in iRacing, then you'll probably want to just keep playing iRacing. You probably won't play this that much. If you're, like, heavily into Seto Corsa and massively enjoy that and it's fulfilling your needs, then, you know, you probably... You probably... Uh, good with that and you probably you don't necessarily need to play this or you don't need to get it straight away i for me what it is a case of at the moment and, and why i've been 
uh, fan fanboying over AMS 2, even before it came out, is it's like, I really like the way you can just set Brandle, races. Brandle, Brandle. As he lay there oh, gasping Jesus for air, Christ. he could feel the virus spread around his body. James wiped the sweat from his retro reflector forehead. I love being pounded <laughs> by you all day, every day. Pound my head harder than Jimmy pounds his waifu pillow. <laughs> retro reflector forehead. Thank you. Um, yes, yeah, so as I say, I, I liked aspects of the project car. Just, just rate. I just found project cars too fun. It's just fun to start to like race with the community. The general features, it's fun. But I didn't particularly like the car handling. So to me, it's like as long as this is like an improvement on the handling of Project Cars 2. It's got fun vehicles in it. We can race it. And I think or I think Reza will also do like an awesome job on the cars as well and, and improve them. And you know they're already. Uh, the cars in this are already better than the cars in Project Cars 2. Um, I, you know, are we getting botted here? <laughs> the bots are here. Oh well, kill them. Ah, oh, thanks, uh, Lorenzo Stylo. <laughs> glad, glad you enjoyed it. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Guy said, "Sex bot Holocaust." What's going on? And genocide. Holocaust probably the wrong word there. <laughs> Kill all the box. It's like it's like Star Trek Picard. I'm I'm on the Romulan side, guys. I'm with the Romulans. <laughs> Kill all the box. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Idiot Federation. Kill the box. Also, how uh, hot is that uh, Romulan uh, woman? Not guilty. Thanks, guy. Thanks, mods, for doing that. Good job. I need a guillotine graphic. Oh, we're up to ninth place so far. Man, this is fun. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> this is like a full out. This is like a total war. The problem is, if you guillotine a bot, there's no blood or anything. It's not as satisfying. It's just like sparks. And they blunt the guillotine. Woo! <laughs> this is ridiculous. Oh, he's gone. Oh, yeah, no spoilers. Sorry. Yeah, I, I don't think I said any spoilers there. I'm just saying I'm with the, I'm with the Romulans. <laughs> Woo! I don't know, Craig. I, I'm breathing fine. I'm happy. <laughs> Probably is he. Oh, look at ah! Oh, get out of the way, bird. <laughs> ben Hamilton's punted. Post-race punt. Ish. Ah, nice. Well, I don't know why they don't finish the race there. Ah. Yeah, the new box that started happening. Oh, now, now they're going. <laughs> The, the bots now, um, they repeat what was said in the stream earlier. They like watch the stream and then they repeat it back. It's quite, quite clever. Yeah, that, that Romulan uh, Tao Shah woman. Ah, good looking. A little bit, little bit too skinny though. She could do with a little, she needs feeding. Poor, poor lady needs feeding. She needs a cup of tea. And a biscuit. These Hollywood actors, they, a lot of them need a cup of tea and a biscuit, you know. I 
I, I enjoyed that car. Yeah, no spoilers, guys, in chat for people that haven't seen it. <laughs> the, the, yeah, well, you know, the bots want to get involved. I, I think uh, it's the pointy ear thing, you know. I always like the Vulcans. Like, uh, what's it? Tipal from uh, Enterprise. She's very good looking as well. She's attractive. She's weird. In, like, in real life, she has blonde hair. I think. Uh, she dyed her hair for Enterprise. Like, she looks better as a Vulcan than a... Uh, than a... Uh, than like a normal person. <laughs> No, we're not talking about Picard because some people haven't seen it, so no spoilers. I'm just saying about uh, women with pointy ears in general, you know. <laughs> yeah, guys, if you if you spoil it, you'll get timed out by mods and stuff because it's not fair for people who haven't seen it, you know. And people are relying on TV at the moment for entertainment. There's nothing better to do, so don't, don't ruin stuff for people. Burnt Hamilton got a second place there. Nice one, Burnt. Hampus Soderberg. Soderberg. So uh, that's what happens if you freeze a bottle of uh, Coca-Cola. You end up with a uh, Soderberg. That was the pun of the stream. Uh, well done, guys. Let's. Antoine came fifth there. Let's let's get another car here. Thanks, Frank. Frank. Frankie Zappa. And Bernie Eccles' child, yeah. Uh, you know. Right, what track should we... Should we do uh, Imola? No, what? Into Lagos. What's Iberia? Let's go for it. I, 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 sounds good to me. I will do some ACC streams, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> we could drive a lorry. <laughs> oh dear, I need to get a drink actually. We, we need something a bit chilled out to drive. I enjoyed that car. Monaco with lorries, yeah. We, we will have to do that, it's a good idea. Oh, that could be fun. Formula Trainer. This could be really good fun. I oh, know this spins around really easy, doesn't it? It's not an easy car to drive. We want something easy. Uh, someone said that this has the car that was in Live for Speed. The, the uh, what's it called? That French car. It's, not, it's like a go-kart, but a car. It's like a go-kart with road tyres on it. Formula V, that's it. Oh, no, Formula, Formula V is just Formula V. Network settings, yeah. Good, thanks for reminding me. There you go. MRT, that's it, yeah. I guess Formula V is basically like MRT, actually. Let's go for Formula V. Thank you for subscribing. Who was that? I'll start this off. Um, I need to alt tab. Actually, I'm going to alt tab now in case it crashes the game. I look proper pale on my webcam. Let's fix that with some advanced CGI. Hang on. Are you ready for this, guys? I'm, I'm going to give myself a suntan. <laughs> that radioactive, too far. There we go. It's a nice, a nice amount of orange there. <clears throat> now that should that sh oh uh, net code. Let's fix. It's not really net code. I need to. Oh no! I didn't even need to. <laughs> I didn't need to alt tab because. It's on my other computer. So, settings. Output. Uh, let's go at, what should I, let's do like 7,500. Kilobits per second. 
There we go. Give, my, give myself a bit more overhead for the network. Um, oh, I was going to try this track out. It, it thinks they're all Dubai Autodrome. Autodrome Yam... Yahoo Chakucha. <laughs> oh, man. I, uh... I met a girl once, and she had a uh, Yahoo Chakooch. <laughs> Woo! Yahoo Chakooch. <laughs> uh, Yahoo Chakooch. I don't know. I don't know why that's funny. It is, it's funny for me. Que Politia Est Carrero. Oh, is that uh, you, pilot career, race driver career? Start your race driver career? Is that what that's saying in Spanish? In, well, in Portuguese? Queer, <laughs> queer piloteer. <laughs> Est Carrero. See. <laughs> oh man. Oh, we're at the beach. Donde es la biblioteca? That's Spanish, not Portuguese. I thought they spoke they spoke they speak Portuguese in Brazil, don't they? Not Spanish. Is <laughs> seeking gay pilots. Well, you know, maybe there's a shortage. Oh, this looks awesome. Oh, look at this. This looks really nice. Oh, look at that view. Oh, I feel like I'm on holiday. I have like a weird notchiness to my force feedback when I stop. It's, I think the, it's the dampener in the game because it doesn't do it when we're rolling, unless it's the uh, unless it's a uh, steering rack force feedback effect, which it could be. But I've got the effects turned off, but you know, you never know. But I'm just I'm just gonna get a drink, guys, because my throat is killing me. <laughs> Paracetamol and a drink, and uh, yeah, then we'll get driving. Fern Bay for Live for Speed. Yeah, that's a good track, that. That had that weird chicane on Fern Bay. Uh, it wasn't in every layout. There was like, it was Fern Bay reverse. You had that weird chicane that everyone was getting stuck on. I'm all right, Jack. Thank you. Trottle, trottle, trottle. Oh, hello. They walked into the room, arms around each oh, other no. passionately. James peeled her clothes away. Oh, Only what? pausing to breathe, she kissed his neck softly removed. Her trousers looking longingly into his <laughs> eyes and asked, oh, Would you like to see my Yaguchi Hooch? <laughs> Why is she wearing tra I mean, fair enough. I mean, I she's obviously a, a practical girl. <laughs> My mum, Yaguchi Hooch. I, I, I wouldn't turn a, a woman down. If, if it's an attractive lady and she said to me, Do you want to see my Yaguchi Hooch? My Yahoochi Coochie? I, I think most of us would have to, you know, if it's an attractive girl and they offer to show you their your, your hoochie coochie, it would be rude to not accept, you, you know, out of politeness, I would accept their your hoochie coochie. I'm, I'm actually, I'm at your coochie, their your, your coochie, yeah, let's just stop there. Right, I'm going to get a drink. <laughs> <It's like laughs> Back in a second, guys. Oh, hang on, hang on. We need to put the, uh, you've got a screen for this. Where is it? Coochie hoochie.
Are we still getting attacked by bots here? Hello, Makuchi Mahoochies. Oh. I have to get myself a bit of a potato. The race is about to begin. I needed something to eat a little bit, you know? You hear the tea? Ah, oh, come on. Headphone socket. Two minute potato munch. Sorted. People getting good lap times on this. I don't know about you guys, I've been like living off potatoes recently. I'm good, thanks to Mr. Porcupine. Hope you are as well. What I've been doing is I put like four jacket potatoes in the oven, cook them at the same time, and then put the ones I'm not eating in the fridge, and then, then you get like a nice. You can just heat it up and you're good. Mm. Oh, you can't. Hello, Carl. You can't get spaghetti at the moment in the UK. Well, you might be able to in some shop. A lot of shops, it's out of stock. Alright, well, it's alright. We're just going to start from the back. I just need to eat something because I haven't eaten for a while. A three word review. Um. Um. Shave your alpaca. Is that is that a good? <laughs> uh, project cars improved. <laughs> project cars improved. Oh, come on, Ellie's Ellie's a bot. You can tell, I mean, come on, look at that. That that icon does not... That is not uh, an image of a quintessential viewer. <laughs> oh, here we go. I mean, look at them. It, it literally sounds like a flashbang is going off in my ear. Come on. <laughs> I mean, if they were going to do bots targeted to this channel, uh, they need like a hot girl holding a direct drive wheel and then, then we'd just leave it. Hey, uh, Dirty Oliveira. Yeah, we do. Um, I don't live stream them a lot, but I, I, you know, I, um, we have a uh, WRC eight, WRC nine just got announced actually, and I will be playing the new Colin McRae Rally uh, DLC. That was another thing that came out that I wanted to do with Mist, so we'll we'll probably go through that. Service dead? Are you sure? Ah. Oh. Type, um, let us know if the server's not working, guys. No, it's fine. Okay. Half just got kicked. Well, should I, should I restart it? Should I restart it with, um, shorter quality? I've only got like 20 seconds to decide. No, there's still like 20 people in here. Oh, let's see what happens. No, we'll, we'll do this. It's only five lap race. P 
perfect potato break there. How does it stand against iRacing, Racing, and ACC? Well, it's kind of di it's a different in terms of physics and force feedback. Um, they all have different physics and force feedback, and they're all pretty much fine, to be honest. I mean, I I'm not the biggest fan of iRacing, but there's as much difference between iRacing, Race Room, and ACC as there is between this and those and those sims, if that makes sense. I find it very hard to go between iRacing and Race Room or ACC and Race Room. I, all three of those games require you to diff, to draw. Like they, they all, from a sort of general perspective, <laughs> they're all pretty uh, similar. But from a perspective of driving fast and consistently, you have to drive more differently. Yeah, I don't know. If, oh, does it? Was it waiting for me to click continue? <laughs> I thought I automatically did it. Sorry. Mama, thank. Huge error. I've only just played it, old uh, odd man out, so I don't really know. I'm not really reviewing it until I played it more. Right, this is just five laps still, so. Right. It definitely seems that... Um, Automobilist has been uh, divisive in that um, it seems there's a lot of people that absolutely hate it and a lot of people that really, really enjoy it. <laughs> Project Cars 2 was like that though as well, I think. It's weird how divisive it is. Hello, random call sign. Alright, here we go. Oh, Jesus. Do you normally drive this with flap it? Yeah, uh, sequential. I, I don't know. I'd say, I'd say, um, <laughs> okay. Interesting line. Well, I would say that, yeah, obviously, there's people that love... Oh, come on, man. Got through that. There's people that love and hate them, but I'd say, on average, it seemed like... Um... The, the range <laughs> of people loving and hating it. It's different from sim to sim. I don't know. Yeah, like, I'm mostly Steam. I'm, I'm mostly talking about Steam reviews, in fairness. Like, they were really all over the place. <laughs> Oh dear. <laughs> your right socks look your right sock looks like a horse part. Hey? To me like a horse's penis.
Left sock? <laughs> I don't know. Ugh. Hello, Phil. This, this is a good track, you know. Oh, get out of the way here. I think we are meant to be using the... Uh... Yeah, this is like a skip barber. Uh, it's less demanding than Project Cars 2. I don't think it, in some ways, doesn't look as nice as Project Cars 2. In some ways... It Like, it runs better because I think the cars are less detailed. Tra I think in some cases the tracks are less detailed. But then there's some, like this car, the polygon count of it looks really, really high. I think this, was this one of the cars that it did for R Factor 2? I don't know, I have not done a side-by-side -side comparison. I get the impression that it runs slightly better than Project Cars 2, though. Seems that way to me. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you've got an okay, moderately okay graphics card, you should be good. Cruising. What's up with the palm trees and the? It's the Game of Muscle Beach Resort. It's it's nice and cool. It's nice and uh, relaxing. The Game of Muscle Beach Paradise. You can uh, have a paddle in the sea if you want, and we uh, we have hot models bringing out cocktails if you're thirsty. It's the type of streamer that we are. We have all the facilities and apparently the inability to drive in a straight line. Uh, I do, yeah. I've not, I've not tried it yet, though, Phil. They've added a load of stuff to it. Now. I was looking at the change logs. They, they posted the change logs on Reddit, if anyone's wondering. I don't know if it's meant to be public, but I don't think anyone cares. But yeah, if you go on uh, Reddit Flight Sim, you can see all the change logs. Come on. We need to drive this car around uh, Monaco. We'll do we'll do this car, we'll do another race with this car but on a smaller track. It, it's vertical field of view, I think. This car seems to have better force feedback and handling than the, some of the other cars. So that it, it definitely seems to be the case that, you know, Breeza have some cars in this up to a higher standard than others. And, and I will say, actually, from the early, from the pre-release version I had, the, the pre-pre-pre-release, the pre there were cars in that that were completely bollocks. So, you know, as I say, I think Breeza are just going to keep Chipping away at it. Cadwell. How, how many pit boxes does it have in this? That'd be interesting to know. See, this, this car doesn't have... People that are saying um, that feel like some of the cars have too much grip. 
this car has way less apparent grip. Like, this seems a way more slidey vehicle. So maybe it's just a case of the um, values being dialed in. Hello, Bents. I'm, I'm alive, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I've got, now I've got damages off. Maybe I need to close the uh, radiator opening. See this? Right. So if you compare this car to the Formula V that was in Project Cars 2, this is like way better. And that Formula... Was it Formula V or Formula Rookie? And they call it Formula Rookie, Rookie in Project Cars 2. Hey, Butcho. Oh, this has a nice draft to it. Yeah, this is, so this is like... This this car is handling way better than any car in Project Cars 2. I mean, this... This actually feels... The handling of this car doesn't seem that different from uh, R-Factor 2 equivalents. This is, uh, in real life, it's quite a rotating car. Like, I mean, I don't know. I, it seems to be telegraphing what it's going to do to me quite clearly. So, I, I mean, I do, I'm obviously using the die drive wheel and stuff. It, it really helps. With, you know, cars that are typically very unforgiving in simulators. I tend to find it when, when you play them with a DD wheel, it makes them a lot easier. Road car, road car tire go karts. Yeah, if, if it's more. Oh, here we go. We're doing the race finish stop. It's more nimble than the Skippy, though. Uh, this, this has a tighter turning radius than the Skippy. Just to compare it to a Skippy. I need to fix this. I, I feel like I've been flashbanged here, guys. <laughs> I need to fix the audio. I need a biscuit as well. Fortunately, a good friend of mine brought around biscuits for me. What a ledge. Yeah, that's a really good car. I'm, that, to me, feels like a... Uh, believable. Like, it, it seems to have realistic handling. Not that it means anything, but it... It <clears throat> seems realistic. Right, let's move this cable away from the other cables. Ugh. Check this out, guys. A friend of mine bought me these. So good. McVitie's Victoria collection. As you can see, there's not many left. <laughs> Gone. Welcome to the Obesity Muscle Channel. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh dear. I hope everyone's got cups of tea. Because it's always tea time. Ah. Uh, my mental health always the same. It's all. It's always like just despair. <laughs> despair and uh, disbelief as to how stupid some people are. <laughs> These cars look like they're trying to mate. Josh with the win there. TVDG, Jimmy Turbo, Bird Hebelson, the legend. Rear muck hip helmet. Muck, muck rip helmet. Raw. Raw muck. muck. Yeah, you, you can read that. Decan. Well, well done, guys. Falsario. Chris Pow. Right, let's let's do this car on another track. Yes, the. Um, I don't know how much that's my connection, Antoine. Hopefully, it's something they can improve. 
It shouldn't be worse netcode than Project Cars 2, though. Right. Do I need to... Is everyone in? Is everyone in this? Let me know in chat, guys, if everyone that's being displayed here is actually in the server. Uh, is it worse? Well, that's weird, isn't it? Why is the netcode worse than Project Cars 2, then? Because I, I don't know if they recoded it. Like, I, I was under the impression they haven't. So it's strange for it to have got worse. So maybe it's not netcode. Maybe it's a collision issue, which is then affecting it. Because if they've not changed the netcode, then it should be the same. Right. Um... Can we do Cadwell with this number of number of cars? I seem to. Well, let's see if this works. Turn the qualifying length down here. Hang on. Oh, we can't change the. Oh, that's weird. You can't change the session stuff. That's weird. Why, why can't we do that? Hmm. Formula trainer novice. Where's that? This one. Oh. Well, let's see what happens here. We'll try and do this. It's weird to not have an option that's in Project Cars 2. Well, let's start that off and see what happens. Yeah, I mean, as I say, a large netcode is like, you've got the netcode, innate netcode of a sim, but, you know, stuff like how collisions are detected can have a big effect on, on what appears like a netcode issue. So, I mean, for example, if you have, like, if you make the collision boxes smaller, just this is just a hypothetical example, but it's something they did with R Factor 1 for some uh, cars for league racing, if you make the collision boxes smaller than the actual car, um, it means that like you could have it so that when people are racing online, they feel like they're close to the other car next to them, but they, there's not going to be a collision until they actually literally put their wheels through the other car. But obviously, as a driver, you 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 know you're trying not to put your car to the other one, so you're driving as if your collision will be a collision, but there's still a little bit more leeway because the collision box is smaller than the actual physical car. If you see what I mean. So that can then make it less likely that you will have, like, collisions. Or it, it certainly corrects in some extent to when... It's like, basically, it forces it to be that the driver's automatically giving more space, if that makes sense. So that would be an example of how a collision... Like, the shape of a collision box as well can affect how cars react to a collision. And, and not all simulators use, like, a collision box necessarily so you know it's just an example but. <laughs> right I think it might be full can we uh, we actually got this full it's got enough slots in here for a car to we never used to be able to race a uh, Cadwell Park <coughs> in, in other sims because didn't have enough slots. Let's have a look. Uh, 
Nice one, John. I had a coffee today, I'll admit to it. <laughs> I've been having these really cheapo coffees. They're quite nice. It's like flavoured coffee. Um, they've got... A, they do like hot chocolate ones and uh, like amaretto almond ones, which I've been having. They're, they're quite nice. They're, they're, they're crap. It's crap coffee, but I quite like them. If you're like a coffee snob, you'd think they were to totally garbage. But I, it's instant coffee as well. <laughs> but I quite like them. Oh, we got 20, 27 cars here. That sounds cool. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> this is not, uh, this is a different car to what we were driving before. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot we were driving a different car. I thought it'd slow down like the previous one. So this is. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, to watch out for the brakes on this. Need a bit more rear brake bias. Hang on. 56 is normally about right, I find, with a lot of cars. Yeah, this is, I think this is like a Formula Ford. See, the force feedback on this... Well, is uh, a lot more R-factory. So, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it definitely seems to me some of the cars in this are less developed and as a result feel more like Project Cars 2 cars and other cars seem more developed and feel more like Automobilist or R Factor 2 Thanks uh, Ali Gunner 68 and this, this, this car has really unforgiving lateral grip I'm going to turn the force back up a bit. This is a, probably not the best track to drive this car for the first time. Yeah, th this track's a really hard track in real life. People drive motorbikes around here. This is like a motorbike track. <laughs> Bonkers. Hey, Matt Evans. I remember learning Cadwell Park in R Factor 1. And it used to keep re repeatedly kill me. It's a, it's, hello. It's a very hard track to learn. Ah, I forgot, I forgot. <laughs> Ridiculous right-hander. <laughs> Hello, Tim, Tim the Jabor. <laughs> Really appreciate you guys all tuning in. What? Well, he's not taking the racing line. I think the skid sound is a little bit weirdly abrupt. Oh God! Okay. Yeah. If you. If you turn in, you rotate from turning in too much. Did my camera just move? No. If you if you uh, if you turn in too much, that causes the back to come out too much, uh, and you lose control. So you have to be very careful with the uh, turning with this car. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> it's, it's, it, this car does not like you turning too much. It's almost as if you know if you set the caster setting up. Uh, too aggressive in a vehicle 
and then you turn past the caster and it can cause the back of the car to go mental because the, the wheel's like <laughs> flopping over them. If that, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you guys know what I'm saying. It feels like that when you turn too much, like the wheels are suddenly going over a weird caster angle. Oh, sorry. Oh, shit. Sorry. This car does not slow down. I know it's totally my fault. You need to... You, you have to... Brake earlier. Bollocks. We get a ban on this game of muscle guy. <laughs> it keeps taking everyone out. Uh, I do use VR. I just don't live stream with it because it's not convenient for live streaming. I've been dying to play Half-Life Alex, but I just haven't had the energy. So this corner's a nightmare because of the camber on the road as well. Oh, lesser Trollison! What is the motive behind this demand? Necessity. Necessity for money. Job. I'm not supplying money for necessities. Thank you, man. Really appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, no, no, Alex spoilers, please. <laughs> I, I, it's so annoying. I bought a uh, part of like buying this PC that I'm using now was so I had a dedicated PC for VR games. <laughs> I was like, yes, I'll be fully prepared for when Alex comes out. Dead. Uh, maybe Paul. That's that's the case with everything, though, isn't it? Look at that tractor. Guys, why have we not got a tractor simulator where you can do that? What a waste of, like, simulation potential. Man, this, <laughs> this race is going to be carnage. Oh, man. I, I've not... I've never felt fatigue like I've, like I've been this... this month like being perfectly like f fine on one level and then like fatigue where you're like you literally can't think it's like really strange bloody hell that that corn is killing me maybe maybe a bit of a setup tweak would help to me <laughs> another car's gone Maybe it's me downshifting as well, causing that. Look at this grass. i got plenty of uh, vitamin D. I think there's another one. Everyone's losing it there. It's making me feel a bit better. That's pretty much what I was expecting. I, I, I hope for it, it was a little bit further in development than it than it is. Because I... Ah, I, oh, bollocks. Um... I feel like it needs six to eight months of development. So I was hoping it maybe uh, maybe only needed a month, two months development, you know. But yeah, it is it is what it is. I don't. I think I'll keep working on it. It's got some nice. It's got nice tracks. It's got nice cars. It seems to run nicely. They Reza have the right idea of, of like the direction to take cars. Ah, another super generous donation here. What's this? Eric Kouya. Booya, it's Kouya. Spooky yellow car there. Thank you, man. <laughs> really appreciate it. Spooky. Hopefully, uh, we c I hopefully I can uh, justify these donations by being mildly entertaining. <laughs> or, or maybe I could just offset despair. I'll absorb the despair. 
Oh, bollocks me ass! <laughs> that corner! <laughs> car behind us again. <laughs> He's not a happy car through there. He's not a happy car through there. We just need to get the speed off before the corner. This is this was not a good car to pick for this track. We're going to do five laps without killing ourselves. Yeah, I think a setup tweak would definitely help with the stability. Jeff, how's it going, man? Pop off to mod. Oh, what you're doing? Uh, T and Muesli's doing a stream. <laughs> Guys, check out. Uh, oh, you can't post a link. I was gonna say you can post a link to a channel, then people could check it out. Be cool. Type a type a name in uh, chat so people can uh, join it. So they know. This is early access, yeah. She should join us on the uh, track, Jeff. My name, Jeff. Should join us in AMS too. Ah, uh, no, I've done it again. I'm. Oh, Jesus Christ! What is wrong with me? So there's also a <laughs> right. There's also a bump there. I notice there's a big bump and that's compressing the suspension, which I think is what's causing it to kick around. It's more the rear. Not that much. I uh, know. Oh there we go. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm already on it, Paul. It's almost, it almost, almost seems like I know what I'm doing with setups. <laughs> what a weirdo, man! You know it's, you know it's the end times. If I, if I start knowing what to do with setups. You know it's the end times. <laughs> Imagine a world where people are using a game of muscle car setup. You might that, you might as well just jump off the cliffs of Dover. That's that's worse than uh, that's worse than a global pandemic. Oh, now, now the car doesn't turn because I've um, <laughs> we overdid the rear rear ARB. Keep that on six, whatever, it's fine. It is a very narrow track. Well, Joss is poning it. Jimmy Turbo in second. Alan Drifter in uh, 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 11. Uh, Alan Drifter 11. 11 in third. <laughs> Guys, I can't cope. Let me just uh, fix the music here. Let's turn that off. Let's probably slow my computer down. Let's get the music turned up here. There we go. <coughs> you Good setups and then share them to everyone. Exactly, that's my job. Are you the guy that do the voice on the P Tracker plugin on the original set of course? Oh, what the the you've spinned your, yeah, uh, uh, for sim racing systems thing. <laughs> Not sim, but Radiator Springs Racing. Yeah, I'm the annoying voice on that. Sorry. Uh. No, it's, it's now early access. 
What CPU have you got, Dal? What are you using? Yeah, <laughs> dual lack. So, sorry, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I'd have... Uh, it's an annoying. It's annoying having someone shout stuff at you when you cut the track again by accident. Look in my mirrors. Uh, you know, it's an option. I, I don't like to abuse the, the use of the mirrors, you know. <laughs> Some people say that I shouldn't crash into people as well, but I don't know, I, you know. Right, here we go. See how this goes. We're getting there. We're getting into this. Joss is smashing it. Jimmy Turbo, he's, he's dialing himself in. Well, we're not last. Is that Thomas Schmidt? Well, this is going to be interesting. I'm expecting total carnage here. I'm expecting this to be an absolute disaster. Cheers, Joel. We're going to have a sip of tea because this might be the last sip we ever have here. Train of Death is leaving the station. You might not want to get on it. Avoid the train of death. ASR Arc writes on here as well. I I I'm I think uh, hey Mex, I think a lot of Project Cars 2 fans will really enjoy this as well. You're nervous you might not like it. Well, you know, I, I think it's up to muster. Yeah, I don't know what that fuel thing's about. It's, I think that's just a bug. I've just been resting, uh, Gonzalo. I-5-6-400. <laughs> uh, no, I, it's just I don't think this is right. Yeah, I think if you like Project Cars 2, then you'd probably like this. I think if you didn't like Project Cars 2, then you'd probably like this still because it improves on the stuff that wasn't good in Project Cars 2. And um, it's not that, no, it's not like a saviour game. Oh Jesus Christ, we're rolling again. It's not like the it's not like the Holy Grail of sim racing. It's just. Just a good... Oh. Oh. Oh, gee. Sorry. I... Yeah, I think the collisions uh, are off. Like, that. Because we didn't touch that guy. And he just rotated straight away. Well, seems to be a few. Oh, look at that! Straight up into fifth. What a pro! And off the track. Oh, uh, guys, I'm a talent at this. <laughs> Straight into third. <laughs> yeah, it does seem that maybe there probably are some issues with netcode. Well, we caught it that time. It need to be addressed. We've got a break before you get to that bit of camber. I'm getting some really bad frame timing issues here with the, this number of cars. The stutters come back. Uh, oh my god. I wonder if that's from the car contacts causing the uh, frame rate to drop. Ah, oh, Jesus. I thought it was thought there was a gap there. Trying to rejoin. Right. Yeah. Yeah, why is this running? Did I not click on the screen properly when there? Ow. Ow. <laughs> why is it not running so well now? We were alright a minute ago. Very strange.
Exactly, the safest rejoins. I need a uh, track mini maps quite handy for that. Also, I need uh, we need to get a uh, relative position thing on the screen. Oh! <laughs> this car wants to follow the track and then rotate you. No, damage is off. Left on the D pad? Do you mean on the. I don't know what you mean. On my wheel? Oh, I see. No, it's not. I'm, yeah, I see what you're saying. I don't have a D pad to set up like a D pad. I don't think I've got the default UI stuff on either. Need to bind it. Oh, bollard in the wheels. Hello, DJ Squibby. How's it going, man? Yeah. Look at the crowd. Oh, it just... <laughs> it's the track camber. You brake on it. The car just loses it. Like, you you can't brake there. <laughs> hey, Brian. Like, that car's ghosted into the wall. Ow. Oh, come on. This car has wide wheels. Bubwinkled. Oh dear. This is a very hard car to drive. I mean, this track's a difficult track, whatever the sim. Ah, oh, again, like, you, <laughs> if you rotate it, ah, oh no, hill climb. If the car's rotating, it's going. <laughs> you have to be really careful of that. You can't heal and tow, just practice. See, it's not that hard. I mean, I don't heal and tow properly, so maybe that's why it's not hard. <laughs> I, I uh, tow and tow and tow. Uh, AMS 1's way more polished than this. I mean, how, how much, how old is AMS1? It had like, what? Five or six years of development? I think with this car, you have to also know where the limit is. I've got... <laughs> she's doing drink of the tea. Once you start drinking tea, you can't stop. So, like, with this car, you have to... 
you know that it's going, it's starting to rotate, so you have to be ready with the counter steer. Like you can't wait for the. You have to be on top of it. Uh, it's different force feedback. I, I think AMS one maybe has better force feedback, but I, I've not played AMS one recently. And, oh, it's hard to say though, because some of the cars in this have relatively similar force feedback to what I remember. Oh, <laughs> trying to get as much speed through there. I mean, I always liked, I always like AC force feedback, AC ones force feedback. Tells you what's going on. Just have to be very careful with this. into grips with his hand here. <laughs> What's he doing? I don't know. I, I think it's just a hard... It's just maybe set up a CB. Once you know how, where you can... How you can push it, or like what to avoid... Like you have to be very quick with the catch. Yeah, it's, it's definitely not a good car track combo if you're new to the car. Woo! Oh dear. Right, we need to we need to go for something else. I think we need to try some lorry driving. This is how uh, all British races finish. Uh, tradition. Race drivers are so rich they just park the car at the end of the race and everyone drives into each other. You might as well write the car off. Uh, yeah, the MCR is really good, actually. Um, I've seen YouTube videos of people driving shifter carts around this track, and it's mental. That's actually good, because it's such a narrow track. Shifter carts are actually quite good. Oh. Oh, dear. Things seem to have gone into breakdown here. Hello. <laughs> oh, we've broken it. It's all over. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we can make a new server. Give, give people a chance to get in there. I can change the quality length. So let's make a new one. Create a new one. Yeah, let's try the MCR car. Is it called MCR in this? Something else. Something similar to it. Is it the P3? The P4. Give me a muscle. Password is T. What are session settings we have here? I 
Oh, there's no fuel uses. That would be why that worked as it did. Um, let's put it on. Uh, I don't know, Cube Cube. Like, it, 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 it's like our, that's our question to answer. Um, you know. Put everything here. Yeah, I, you know, it, I, it's an early access game, as it is now. It, I would say it probably needs six to eight months of development before it was probably, like, polished, 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 if that makes sense. I did, I thought I did change track. Oh, gone crazy. Uh, I think they're putting that it's get. Um, there's a lot of tracks being added to it, Sebastian. But yeah, I do. I do feel like they have kind of made a bit of a mistake with the way that they're doing the DLC. I think um, what they should really do is uh, they should have done what Kunos do, where it's like sell the initial game for like a reasonable price. And then do DLC with like, you know, three new tracks, two cars for like 10 quid. And people, everyone will buy it because they'll be like, well, that's really good value for money. Versus versus going, oh, you can buy all the DLC for £100 and it gets you a lot of content. It's, it's, it's too much money for someone to buy on a whim. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's just, it's like you're asking too much of a commitment from people. So yeah, both ACC and A you need to sell D DLC for cheap and in seemingly what's very good value. And then each time the DLC comes out, it's an advertisement for the base game as well. Because you, you put the base game on sale and you do the DLC at a good price. So what happens is it gets in the news. It's like, oh, uh, Automobilista 2, new DLC, three awesome new tracks. Because the, track, the quality of stuff in this is great. And people see that and they're like, oh, I haven't got it yet, but that DLC looks good. Oh, I can buy the game on sale for 15 quid and I might as well just get the DLC as well, seeing as, you know, I can buy them together for the same price of the original game. And then they buy the next DLC the next. You know, <laughs> it's like, it's you know, that's what you do to sell these sorts of games. Uh, so the reason I think they've priced it out they have is because they were kind of made this based on their um, uh, uh, their early early their, their internal early access so the, the, the reason they're selling it for the price they are is because that's how much they sold it to the Reza fanboys so they kind of uh, put themselves in a corner Yeah, exactly. They don't want salty reads of fanboys. Though, to be honest, and like, this is what I never understood with fanboys of a game, is like, if I've already bought a game, I don't care if it goes for cheaper because I just want more people to race against. I'm, I'm <laughs> like, if I'm, if I'm like buying a game for more because I want the developer to, to make the game, I don't need other people to pay more money for it. I, I just want more people to play the game with. Do, do you know what I mean? It's like, it doesn't. It's nothing off my back if it goes cheaper. It's like I paid more because I'm happy to play it. That was one of the things with Live for Speed that was really stupid. It's like. Oh no, we've got the frame timing issue again. It's... Why is it suddenly doing... Like, it's got stuck again. Is it because of my window? Maybe it's because I alt-tabbed. Oh, there we go. Okay, pro tip, guys. 
Don't alt tab, and if you do, alt tab again and it'll fix it. <laughs> the old the old alt tab fix. Woo, this car feels nice. Yeah, so with Live for Speed, I, I was like it was hard to get other people to buy into it. That's not how you gear shift. Need a bit more rear brake bias on this. I don't really see the point in... I don't know why they're still developing Live for Speed. It's like... <laughs> the ship sailed. Unless you were to add, like, mod support to it and new tracks. It's like... It's kind of... It's a weird one. Why? What's the point in adding DirectX 11? Like, the game look is fine. <laughs> We've got 27 people in here, that's really cool. <laughs> this car sounds like it's faster than it is. This is slower than a Radical SR3. Hang on, is this car flappy paddles? No, it's gearbox. It's nice handling. Hello, Gargach. Oh, Jesus. Bad time to read the chat room. Well, the thing is, you can't really charge £10 a track because then no one has a track to do multiplayer with and you can't fill servers up. Toilet seat drama. Yeah, we, we've <laughs> spooky yellow car. What track it is out the Nordschleife? No, it's not Hungary. We uh, we've done one track that we don't know. We're going to do another random track after this. I'm, I'd rather do tracks I know with, with until I know the cars because it's very hard to drive a track you don't know with a car you don't know. Thank you, man. We will do a, a random track. We'll go Brazil. Really appreciate the donation. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> man, I can come out of isolation and do, do some shopping. <laughs> I've not actually been. Sh I've not actually done a COVID shop. I've not experienced, I've not done the uh, COVID shopping experience yet. I've not been outside for 30 days now. <laughs> Isolation man. It's bleak. I don't know, sounds, sounds kind of like nice not having to be stood next to people.
Do I live alone? Yeah, I do. Uh, fortunately, I have uh, friends that have near live nearby, uh, brought me food and stuff. <laughs> Oh, look at it. this. I like this. Good car. It's nice. This is very... makes sense. This car's making me want to push. Got to get this car a bit of welly. This drive's very similar to the Lotus... 9.11 in a Seto Corsa. So it's a very similar speed and profile to it. A little bit more forgiving. Hang on. It's got the same mirror and everything going on as well. Same, is it, maybe it's meant to be, uh, maybe it's like a rip-off of that car. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, Oscar. Are you are you still being held on though, or are you basically being made redundant? Okay. Well, yeah, it's going to be interesting. Economically, it's going to take at least five years, six years for economic recovery. For some reason, British and European governments are totally brain dead, so they don't want to actually bail out the economy in a proper way. So, <laughs> well, it's going to be interesting. Give money to the banks. They did a good job after the 2007 financial crisis. Let's do the same thing again that didn't work. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, man, ho hopefully... Um, I mean, e uh, even if you do get made redundant in the long term, hopefully you still manage to get work again. Bollocks. Sorry. Man, just killed someone again. Be really careful. Hello, Ray Lord. Yeah, I mean, it, it's really hard. I, I know so many people that have lost their jobs. You know. I guess the, the only positive of, like, losing a job in this climate is that a lot of people are in the same boat. So I think it makes it harder for the government to sort of ignore people that need the support. So for example, prior to, prior to this happening, if you get made redundant through no fault of your own, they'd be like, oh, sign up, sign up to the doll where you basically get no support at all and it's, you know, it's a, it's a joke. But because <laughs> so many people have been made redundant, and have been made redundant in a way that everyone everyone knows that it's not that person's fault. You can't like you can't fall back on idiotic conservative arguments of like, oh, you lost your job because the industry didn't you didn't work hard enough or it's the wrong industry. It's like no, well, obviously they didn't. So um, yeah, because there's so many people in the same boat, it's like, well, the, you know, the government's going to have to step up and support those people to some extent because you know, the alternative is people s s literally just starving, which means you'd end up with complete civil unrest, which I, normally isn't particularly good. <laughs> so, you know, there isn't a magic money tree until there is. <laughs> and strange that, apparently there's £12 billion available. $3 trillion. Where did it come from? Uh, different. Some countries have different approaches. It's, you know, it's like there needs to be 
realistically, there needs to be universal basic income for, for minimum. Right, UBI is not ideal anyway, but that is, it's better than current approaches. Like, instead of giving money to banks and random arbitrary businesses that you decide to support, um, you just need to give people money so that you're building the economy from the ground up. So you give everyone like two, two and a half grand a month and you still tax it. So if someone's, if someone's still in work, they, they, that money would get taxed back off them. So it's not, you know, it's not like everyone's getting two and a half grand. It's like people that need it get two and a half grand. And then, in, you know, when you find work, you then are taxed. So, you know, long, you, know you no longer get that money. Um, that way, that way, there's there's a market there because everyone has cash to buy stuff. <laughs> so industries that are currently that haven't gone out of business or new businesses have a market to sell to. <laughs> Unbelievable! It's almost as if it's almost as if this is the right thing to do, and people have known for a long time. But it's almost as if the government is somewhat corrupt and somewhat motivated to shuffle money to specific interests that have paid to keep the current governments in power. No corruption here! No corruption going on here! No corruption at all, guys. <laughs> shoo me, shoo me. There's, 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 uh, no corruption. <laughs> mm, mm, no corruption going on at the moment. Let's send the money to the bankers. Mm, we appear to have, we appear to have a shortage of ventilators. Hmm, who shall we go to for ventilators? Should we go to the easily easily to access ventilators it will help people immediately or should we give money to people that we know that support us mm. Mm. kill people or help people mm. <laughs> what shall we do ah. it's uh, both funny and deathly depressing <laughs> planet in a telescope Oh dear, guys. Right. Done. Let's get racing. <laughs> AMS2 cutscenes. I, I, you know, Reza really did. They really are controversial with these political cutscenes. It's amazing that they put them in the game. It really, really surprised me. I'm really surprised how they got someone that looked exactly like me to do the cutscenes. That was a surprise. I wasn't expecting that. You're not going to enjoy AMS 2, Shumi. You're going to hate it. <laughs> Funnel money to the rich even more when people, when the poor people need more money. Hmm. No, let's not do that. <laughs> money to people that need it. <laughs> right, let's get driving, guys. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hang on, is it? We've lost people. Okay, this guy's back. <laughs> oh, dear. Chicken song. Sim politics. Well, you have to realise, you know the whole flatten the curve thing for COVID, so you don't have too many people going to hospitals. It's kind of like a tyre model. The best tyre models are, are, are smoother, less abrupt. It all comes back to sim racing. Go! Oh, hello. Thank you, Garda Sir B76. Oh, 
I think, I think this car's really good, you know. Feels nice. Just gotta be really careful of driving into people. Whoop! 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 Ah, oh, fair enough, Erwin. Have you have you driven this car? It, it's coming out. Uh, uh, from my perspective, it's what I was expecting. I, the only thing that I would have liked to it is for it to have been further developed more. I, I was expecting it to be further along. Look, DW. That's a criminal offence punishable by death. Ah, oh, bugger me arse. Ah, oh, too, too wide. Woo! Sorry. Ah! Uh, this, this is going to be a fun car for just for racing, you know. I can see this, this is the... Uh, we'll have to try the faster version of this. I, I like Alton Park. I, I do... Okay, look. I, I'll be honest. You do get better racing at Alton Park than Brands Hatch. Okay? I said it. But... Brands Hatch is like the home of Mo... Oh. <laughs> Bloody hell. Sorry. Brands Hatch is the home of Murray Walker. Jesus Christ. He, his car suddenly slowed down. And then the netcode punt on this is instant death. That, that needs to be... Yeah. There needs to be something fixed with the collisions on this. I know, but that was very strange. I, I wasn't actually actively trying to drive into him. There's definitely some funky netcode stuff going on in this. Or collision code. Yeah, he's, he's suddenly... I don't think he was on the brakes, but he suddenly, like, moved backwards and I tapped him very gently. He went bloody flying. I like the uh, Motec display on the steering wheel. Backwards and I tapped him. Yeah, that does sound like a terrible excuse, but that is what happened. Random at Callington. Man, I've got sweaty hands. Oh, I might have to turn the heating down here. Sim racing central heating. Chris Bow in front of us. Uh, there are penalties, but I think they're turned off at the moment. I think they're fairly similar to the Project Cars 2 cashier penalties. You can turn the sensitivity down in the CSL Elite load cell 
um, in Windows, the control panel, or you just adjust it in games. Just turn the brake sensitivity down. How oh, are they a lot better? Well, I'm, I'm not basing it off this session. I'm basing it off the early beta, which maybe was using the Project Cars 2 track cut stuff. So, fair enough, Gasper. As I say, I'm not, this is why I'm not really doing a review until I've played more of it, because I'm not really... I'm not, I've, well, this is my first time playing the early access, so... Why is the game making you nauseous? <laughs> Project Cars 2 penalties, uh, North Korean Racing League, <laughs> where any slight infraction is death penalty. It's like that Star Trek episode where Wesley walks on the grass and gets death penalty. That's what they based it on. <laughs> it helps increase the tension. Shut up, Wesley. Uh, there's no such thing as an official release anymore. Won't worry about that. It is a good episode. I like how the episode is actually filmed in a sewage plant in Canada, I think. Hello, Marco J. Welcome back, Marco J. <laughs> thank you, thank you guys. Man, I, I, I would have thought people would be relieved to not have my annoying, shrill, <laughs> complaining voice. <laughs> it's, it's amazing the effect of Stockholm Syndrome. Please lock me back in the cupboard. Who's this all over my backside? Whoa! <laughs> kind of glad. You were my main source of depression. Oh, come on. Total attack. Please put me back in the Matrix. I, I've been enjoying iRacing. They've been taking it in the right direction with the tyre model. That was quite an effort to drive that. It's a good car, though. Why do you tab the throttle when you heal when you downshift? That's what heel and towing is. So you're downshifting, you've got the brake, and you press the throttle to keep the revs up so that when you change into the new gear, the wheels, are, they're not, um, they don't spin up. That's what, that's heel and towing. Keeps the car balanced. <laughs> it's impossible to have close racing in this. I'm 10 metres away and the car in front just takes off into the air. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thomas, you're just missing that they've, they've, they've implemented Jedi racing. You need to, uh, <laughs> you need to train your mind. To not think about the car in front crashing, otherwise you you take them out. Jedi overtake. Force field racing. 
<laughs> yeah, there definitely needs to be some like netcode uh, or collision optimization. Well done, Jimmy Turbo. Josh the boss, grind C. Yeah, you've got the power now. We're all Jedis. Formula Jedi. Did you not notice the episode one pod racing music playing as you drove the car? <laughs> right, let's return to the lobby here. We're going, uh... Should we try the P3? Uh, <laughs> that's not that. That's uh, hang on. What's Velo Park? This looks like um, it looks like Norse Ring almost. Hang on a minute. This is just Norse Ring with an. That's just Norse Ring. Monaco with the truck, okay. Fine. Thomas van der Jik. Jik. Monaco. Can that work? What's Monaco called in this? Monaco. Monaco. What's Monaco called? Azure, it's not there. It's too many cars or something. Yeah, it's not there. <laughs> I can't move up anymore. Maybe it's to do with track rules or something, or the car, or num maybe it's the number of people on the server. It's too many. Right, let's just do another track with trucks. Right. Ah. Right. I don't even know what the trucks are called. Ah, right, there we go. Um... <laughs> we do a go kart track with lorries. Ah, here we go, Virginia International Raceway with lorries. <laughs> oh dear. An easy track. Let's do Brands Hatch Indy. <laughs> here we go. We should do go-karts. We should do a go-kart track with this. Look at the exhaust pipe. It's got a pipe and a half on that. I need a biscuit. Biscuit pipe.
Um, oh, here we go. Euro trucks in. Oh man, we could skip gears. Oh Jesus, it didn't want to go around the corner. does not want to turn. I would turn it with the throttle, okay. Drift it. Oh, is it sequential? Oh, man. It <laughs> Formula drift truck. Exactly, Gargage. Yeah. SMS can't do anything good. You, you got to realise that. <laughs> oh, anything that's anything left over from SMS is terrible, and anything good is Reza, obviously. <laughs> Deal with it! It's not you saying here. Jesus Christ, my, I need to turn full speed back down here. <laughs> I want to see what happens when Project Cars 3 comes out. I think people are going to have mental breakdowns. Oh my god, this, <laughs> this does not go around corners. Guys, this drives like a lorry. <laughs> oh, shit. They need to put trains in this and then it's got everything. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Might take a while to get out of the gravel here. There we go. I mean, it should have a horn, otherwise it's not a lorry, is it? What you guys don't know is Project Cars 3 is actually a boat racing simulator. Slightly mad studios were like, ah, oh, you know what, we're bored of cars. Jet boat racing. To be honest, that would be cool. I would, I would really like a solid jet boat racing sim. Like proper wave physics. Oh man, no grip. Well, you know, one lap's enough. I I like to go into um, Mich like Michelin star restaurants and have one bite and then I throw the food back and don't uh, and then leave. But the good thing with that is, is like one bite in a Michelin star restaurant is, uh, is that's normally half the meal anyway, so. Oh, come on. I have to say, the handling of this is bonkers. I don't, all my wheels have overheated. Project Oars. <laughs> you have to start the game as a uh, 
They take you full, through the full career of a boatman. You begin as a uh, Viking invader, where you have to use your force feedback or accessory to uh, cross the uh, cross from Sweden to the UK, and then you have to use your force feedback or to to uh, smack people over the head as you rape and pillage. Great. <laughs> yeah, you start off. You start off at the back. <laughs> By the end of season one, single player, you get to be the captain of the Viking boat, where you have to use a <laughs> a drum. You have to beat a drum in. That would be a good game. You have to beat a drum in time. In like, it's a timing thing. We're speeding it up, and that's how you race the boat, like a like a Papa the Rapper type game. Parappa the Rapper, but with a drum, but it's boat racing. Man, I, this, is, this is why, you know, I would be the, the, the best Japanese game developer. It wouldn't sell many copies, but, you know, it, it, it would be like, it'd be like Rez or, you know, what's the one with the, the Vib Ribbon? <laughs> I, I, if I was in charge of a game studio, we would produce games that no one would buy, but they'd be, they would be respected. Wave Racer was awesome. Talking about boat games. Problem is, most British people don't know what a, a boat biscuit is. Do they drive real lorries as if they're like a drift? Like, is that how you drive it? A biscuit, like old school biscuits, like the biscuits that they had on pirate ships, were like super dehydrated, triple cooked <laughs> lumps of flour and oil that you had to, like, stew to make them edible. They, they, aren't, they aren't biscuit biscuits. Hello, Super Hot Wheels. Yeah, it's true. I, I had to go to jail. They didn't appreciate it. See? <laughs> Eighth! I'm on fire. I'm a. Uh, all those hours in Euro Truck Sim, guys. I'm unstoppable. Are, it seems that people are learning how to handle these. <laughs> like people are actually driving them around the track now. And I've been sneezing all month. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's really weird. We know, I know, I, I've had that, I've done that. That's that's over and done with, but for some reason I'm still sneezing. <laughs> that's like, I, I don't think you're supposed to be sneezing for a month. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, oh, next level, use the lorry in front brake technique. <laughs> Whoops. Man, this car just can't, this lorry does not slow down. Well, 
you know, people sh should be allowed to work from home, to be honest. I mean, if you're doing, if you're getting the work done, ow, you're getting the work done, it doesn't matter where you are. Hopefully, again, that's the silver lining. Hopefully the business culture changes. Mr. Gargadge works from home. A lot of game developers work from home. It's not that uncommon in the games industry. Ow. Ugh. Right. Knight. Pure skill. Oh, do you not? Oh, well, okay. Take that back then. No working for home for you. Yeah, and I think it's getting. I uh, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Seems to be a lot of in uh, remote workers though. I mean, well, let's face it. The indie games are nearly always the better games, as well. So you know. Because, purely because people are working from home. I mean, it's, it's probably a direct correlation between how much tea you drink. The more tea you drink, the better everything is. You're going to fix cars in your room tomorrow. <laughs> more Exactly, it's good for me. <laughs> the only thing that's benefited from a global pandemic, sim racing. Great! <laughs> it's just like every, and the whole earth has been destroyed. <laughs> There's like just dead bodies strewn all over the streets, tumbleweed, everything decimated. But sim racers are like, great! <laughs> uh, Motorsport destroyed. <laughs> Everything gone. Life as we know it gone. Sim races. Oh, ho, ho, sim racing. <laughs> oh dear. The, the, the pretend races go to heaven. Oh, look at that grid, guys. There must be other industries that are benefiting from every, from, from the entire world collapsing. Coffin builders. Great! <laughs> I can't build enough of them. Uh, here we go. Five laps, but the fuel is turned off, so don't worry about that. Oh no, did I turn it back on? I think I turned it back on. So do worry about that. <laughs> Sorry, I made a little mistake there. Mass makers, yeah, password is T in capital letters. Film streaming some providers, exactly. Yeah. Netflix is poning it. Amazon and <laughs> Amazon Fanatec and Just Eat. And sanitizer makers. Uh yeah. I know what you mean, Kerb. I mean, tracks are practically destitute in the best of times, you know. There's a load of industries like that, though. I, I, I don't understand how the, the airlines are going to work. Like, unless the government literally buys them up, it's like it doesn't work. They, they, you know, their margins are such that they're set up to, like, be running all the time. Like, if, if a plane is on the ground... For like say five hours that weren't scheduled you're talking to thousands and thousands of pounds lost here we go guys man the gearing on this is crazy Oh, there he goes. And there he goes. I 
okay. Ah, uh, guys, I mean, I, I'm just a natural talent at serious racing, you know. <laughs> Straight to second. I'm really glad that uh, the cars that I seem to do best at are the ones that people really want to be racing competitively, you know. It's not good. Hey, Chili Dog. Ah, oh, no, I've, I've took the uh, the desert line. Ah, oh. ah, oh, okay, I, okay. I might have got a bit. Oh, I might have got a bit ahead of myself there. <laughs> it comes more more murderous lorries. See, I think you're not really meant to like massively drift this because it overheats the tyres if you do. But the tyres seem to be overheating whatever, so... Yeah. And the brakes don't work at all if you overheat the tyres. <laughs> you can't slow down. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't. I couldn't even slow myself down. Ah, oh, no. Here we go again. Sorry. Oh my god. Oh, where's he going? Okay. Like, it doesn't turn unless you put the throttle on. Do they really, James? Brake sprinklers. Man, this is really hard. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, textbook overtake. Oh, okay, maybe not. Ah. Uh. Ow. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's so hard. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, Jesus, come on. Shameful. Shame. So uh, I walk down the high street naked with a bell ringing. No one's going to see me anyway because there's no one outside. Yeah, I, I've seen people drive lorries. I've seen lorry drivers. I know what. I know how to do this. You just block the road repeatedly for all traffic. Oh, we did what I did. Oh, shit. <laughs> Textbook block. Oh, no. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't say these are the best vehicle in this game. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Blockade. Maybe 
Maybe these just need a trailer on them. If you had a trailer, they'd probably calm the, the handling down, you know. Why wouldn't you do truck racing with a trailer? It seems to me like you're missing half the vehicle. That could be fun. Like part of the pit stop could be refilling the trailer up. And then you have a whole pit crew with like forklifts and everything. Surely that's what you'd do for lorry racing. Isn't that like it's the logical thing? Ah, oh, okay. Wow. Um, Lenovo. I can't remember the parrot's name. Cinematic race engine screen. <laughs> wow. Well done, Nogira and Gaspar Medevd and Mixel38, top three there. Yeah, you know, um, interesting, interesting. I, we've got to go through all the cars in this, you know. But I'm, uh, I'm going to stop this stream here because I'm, I'm pretty exhausted. But uh, hopefully we'll be streaming tomorrow. I think we might continue on with some more Automobilista 2, get through more cars, do more tracks. We'll build up some more uh, uh, car track knowledge. But, uh, yeah, I, I think I think Automobilista 2 has, like, a lot of potential there. Um, well, hopefully in the day tomorrow, we'll see. It depends to see how knackered I am. Oh, I'm sorry, you, you're a disease. Um, yeah, I think Automobile 2 is interesting. I, I think it needs like six to eight months of more development for it to really polish off. But we, you know, we've not tried all the content yet. So, get a refund! Well, there's no rush to buy it. Like, I would say that with every game. Don't rush into buying anything, you know? Oh, we do have three keys to give away, which I'll try and sort out soon as well. We'll work out a way of giving them away. A list of good bets. Yeah, that's, that'd be good, CB. Appreciate that. All right, Craig. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, for what we do with it, I, I think it's going to have a lot of... Like that MCR we were just driving before this. I think it'll be really, we'll get really fun racing with it. That's, for me, it's all about just that, it's having the fun racing, you know? Like how when we played Project Cars 2 quite a lot. I think I'd I'd boot this up instead of Project Cars 2. You know, if we were going to do this sort, this sort of ad hoc racing we do and, and someone was like, okay, what are you going to load up? Automobilista to a Project Cars 2. I think you'd pretty much universally go for Automobilista 2. Yeah. It's going to be really interesting when Project Cars 3 comes out, though. <laughs> Uninstall it. <laughs> Project Cars 2 track limits are annoying. But, I mean, you know, we've got, like, iRacing, AC, ACC, Automobilista 2, Race Room, the rank racing on Race Room. So many Sims and so lit. I know lots of time now. <laughs> if only everyone was stuck at home to play driving Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Well, they do sales on Project Cars too. You can get it for cheap. Project Cars 2 is free on Xbox Live. Ah, uh, yeah, no, they did. They um, It goes on sale for, like, super cheap often. I don't know where my Azure went. Let's have a look before we go. No, see ya. It, it, I don't know. Maybe we'd add too many slots for pit boxes so it didn't show it. You dodge so many people. <laughs> but yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. Sorry for the stream being a bit short. We'll uh, we'll gradually increase the stream time <laughs> as we progress. Four hours isn't too bad, though. 
Uh, huge, huge thank you for donations and throttle, stuff. Throttle, throttle, throttle! Oh, I'm glad you are back, James. Oh. Happy times. <laughs> Have a good night, all. Look at like that. Thomas Smith poning it on his tractor. Thank you, man. Oh, he's gone. Thanks, Thomas. What a generous chap. Appreciate that, man. All right, let's get the credits on, then. Yeah, no, it's going to be really good to do more racing with you guys. And, uh... And flight simming. Uh, x 11 just had a big update, so... Well, there you go, Thomas. More flight sim streams inbound. Catch the last... Yeah, um... Jeff. Link, uh, link, uh, link a stream so people can go to it. Thank you for donating, Thomas Smith. The Dirty Yank. Sound of Guns. Rise. GM Sars go to fanfic. Bloody hell. Mike McLaren. Super Chats from Gasper Medept. Izzy. The Central Scrutinizer. Lassa Trollison. Eric Coolia. And Toilet Seat Drama. Yeah, everyone, we need to raid T and Muesli. Subscriptions from Final. Lone Wolf. Steve Jackson. Shmee Stone. Henry Mills. Crazy Gaming Glen, Agoras, Cole, Hazelton, Ground Rs B76. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for clicking the like button as well. I oh, did kill. Day day go with the day day wheel. She's got needies on her head. She takes needies to her bed. It's a day day go with the day day. What a beauty, what a babe. With the DD legs, she's got AccuForce, Simia Cube, Sim Magic, Fanatec, DD1 and DD2. It's a DD girl with a DD wheel. What a beauty, what a babe, what a DD. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, she's. She, she, She's winning the, uh, she's winning the uh, Special Olympics. She's got more, she's got more power. <laughs> she can roll along the ground faster than your average sports car. She's got the best prosthetic legs in the history of prosthetic legs. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. I don't know, Josh, Josh. Brain damage. There she goes. Get him. Hang on, Jeff. Jeff, 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 Jeff. My name's Jeff. Uh, there you go. Post a channel. My name's Jeff. I've modded you so you can post the channel. My name's Jeff. You can uh, link to uh, Team Muesli in chat before we go. Right, credits. Thank you, uh, that MKK. Appreciate that. Next door neighbours are like, he's definitely got brain damage. <laughs> uh, we thought he was cured. Nope, it's got worse. There you go. Good spam. I see you in the, in the chat room. I might, I might hang out there for a minute whilst I close this off, so... Cheers, everyone. Take care. See you soon. L goodbye.